Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. Welcome to Friday and welcome to another edition of us playing through the nominated games. Mm -hmm. And this is where we play new games on classic consoles at 60 frames a second. So make sure you have it set to 60 frames a second or you'll miss half the games. Mm -hmm. And I'm joined by Tanya Hello. today. You can see it above yeah. her. Head, her or name. also known as Not Darcy. <laughs> not Darcy. Yeah, she just put Not Darcy. Yeah. <laughs> not <laughs> on Darcy. Fridays. Yeah. Um, so, yes, we for the past two episodes, we've been playing the 2600 nominated yes. 2600 Yay. games. And we're going to be playing some more tonight. As very well. exceptional games. Very yes. exceptional games. Yes. All of them and tons of fun. So, yeah. very excited to get to um, So, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers mm -hmm. that are uh, that support the show uh, Cafe Man 2D, Captain Classic, Charles and Check, Coconut 81, Gretem's Ground Trooper Ice, both Johnny mm -hmm. WC23, Carl G, Croco 2600, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strom, RC70, Repentless VG, Six Sweets, Sir Cat Lake, Spartan 581, Spiceware, S. Ramirez 2008, The D Train 37, The Welshman 89, Tiki Dan K, Titfos, and Zach Scalero. And you can see Ooh. it down this side. <laughs> yeah. It's very long. It's almost off the screen. I have to figure out something new for the names after the um, Atari Awards. Um, because it'll be going off the screen yeah. soon. Um, yeah. So I'll have to, that's I don't good. know what I'm going to do. That's not a bad problem to have. That's yes. all I have to say. Yes, with fresh haircuts. It was, yeah. <laughs> I look back at the last episode on Wednesday. That was the day I got my haircut. And yes. it's, it's all over the place. It was terrible. Yeah. Um, so, and I want to thank everybody in the chat who is tuning in live to watch the stream. Mm -hmm. I is supposed to waves hello to all hello. just in time. Wow, 26 subscribers. Yeah, yeah pretty up. good. Uh, D Train, Charles Reese, RC70, Dan AVC, uh, Spartan581, Alfie, and everybody else who is lurking and <laughs> watching or watching on YouTube. So yes. make sure you subscribe on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook and all that to keep up to date. All the stuff. Yeah. With when the shows are, special things going on, mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. And uh, if you want your name read out in the list of subscribers. It's the cat. cat yeah, thing? yeah, yeah. He's fine? Yeah, he's fine. Um, <laughs> you can support this show for Make free. <laughs> if you have Amazon Prime, just link it to Twitch Prime and click subscribe. And if you don't want to do that, you don't have to. Just make sure you follow us so that it pops up when we are broadcasting live. Because mm. sometimes you never know when we'll be broadcasting. Usually on schedule, but sometimes uh, there's, there's extra spontaneous stuff. spontaneous broadcasts from time to yeah. time. Something exciting happens. Yeah. You get and something in the mail and it, you can't wait until Wednesday or exactly. Friday to yeah, show off to what you got. open it now. <laughs> open it live. Open this thing. Yeah. <laughs> I have to do this thing. <laughs> um, and speaking of impromptu, it's not really impromptu. I just, just scheduled it yesterday so not um, impromptu but yeah impromptu but an unscheduled show I had to add one more to get through all of the nominated okay. games um because after this we'll be playing the 7800 games and the 8-bit slash 5200 games mm -hmm. and i've scheduled that for monday nice. at normal airland time <laughs> that's more understandable than Airline. 11 a.m pacific time but yeah. um check the listings on the atari age forums but it's mm -hmm. 11 a.m pacific time 2 p.m eastern time we're going to be going through the last of the games mm -hmm. which is the 7800 and 5200 slash 8-bit games mm -hmm. that'll be lots of fun but tonight we're going to be rounding off all the 2600 games um we already did the works in progress we did the 4k and under games mm -hmm. and then we're just kind of grouping the rest together because they're it, nominated there's in a, a lot bunch of, of categories um, there's a lot of repeats too right so yeah games are nominated for multiple, um, multiple categories yeah um so so we're kind of cleaning up the rest of the 2600 games all in one fell swoop mm -hmm. um so i've done the video intro for the atari awards that is done it's ready the thing i'm going to play at the beginning mm -hmm. Um, I have crewed up everyone to help out with the Atari Awards because all of the hosts will be on the screen, yep. as will I. I'll be away it's, from the computer. It's a shocking amount of work and control. Yeah, you have to yeah. do switching, you have to do audio levels, yeah. you have to do multiple video sources, there has to be somebody on the camera because we'll be having close-ups yes. of us. And, and throughout this, James is normally on Freaking screen out. the whole time. Yes. And yet is basically telling everyone else what to do <laughs> yes. in the in-between cut cut scenes where, you know, things yeah. are playing on the screen. I go, ah, do yeah. this, do this, do and this. And I just want to point out, he has always been this way. Yeah. And when we got married, 
He also ran the videography of the ceremony. Yeah, we had three cameras filming it, and I had set up all the cameras before him. So he basically set everything up and told everyone what the to do, walked down the aisle, said, said, you know, <laughs> your, your I do's. And went back and checked and on the cameras. And went back and checked on all the cameras. <laughs> so, um, so this is just sort of ingrained in, yeah. in, in the James' video turned DNA. Out nice. It was, it was a lovely, it's a lovely wedding video yeah. that I'm sure we've watched once since then. But, um. I watched it lots of times. I edited it, so. So, but, <laughs> but yeah, it was very nice. Yeah. Anyway. Um, yes, all our tuxes and gowns are rented. That's right. Um, or bought. Or either. bought already. <laughs> Reusing them. Um, and I've also prepared the certificates. Uh, not with the names, because I don't know who is going to win. Not until all the votes come in. Um, but I'll show you what they look like. Mm -hmm. They're pretty nice. So this is the award. This is the certificate. Thanks. Yeah, it's showing up okay. A little blurry, a little Maybe bit bright. Maybe get a little closer. Yeah, it'll get blurry though. Yeah, I guess it's better blurry than far away. Does it not have the autofocus? No, not this lens. Oh, so. that's why. So there is the certificate. There you can see it far away and clear. Yeah. Or close and blurry. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it says um, awarded to who knows for who knows. And this is just my template that I can fill in. And of course, you've seen all the awards as well. Those came in a long time ago. That's very blurry. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. New camera. Very cool camera. Yeah. You don't have the autofocus on the no, lens, it's unfortunately. Not, the lens doesn't work with the autofocus. Mm. So eh, whatever. Yeah. It's an old lens. Um, oh, the cats. Oh. Uh, Come on in. So voting. Yes, voting started yesterday. Um, we finally got it going thanks to Al Yaruso, who's working behind the scenes. Um, getting that working and it started yesterday at around 11 to noonish. I was putting all the voting up so they're all flooding in which is wonderful lots of people voting on the awards and we've extended the awards um, the voting for them mm. a little bit longer so that you know everybody is able to because some people are away or they're busy so we've extended that to January 28th which gives me less time but you guys more time to do the voting and that's what's more important so make sure head over to the atari age forums and put in your vote for your favorite games mm -hmm. or the ones you like playing the most or so everyone the game out you there, made or whatever you want to vote however you want to vote everyone out there in the chat have you yes. voted yet oh yes i voted and I or vote are you still considering you are know you what you want to vote for so you're sort of holding holding yeah. out to kind of make some decisions are you watching, i'm kind of curious are you for, watching this to figure it out well, are you still, yeah. are you still are you playing still, the game? are you still mulling over what you think should win in each category some of them i i was very torn because there's so many really good ones out there yeah. in 2019 that i was it's like well they're both good and they both I like them for different reasons, or, yeah. you know, I like these for different reasons, so... <laughs> is this a poll? It's a poll of polls. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting, watching just all curious, the Just curious, yeah. just curious, yeah. Like, yeah. Whether, whether you're someone you who finished? makes a fast decision, or you kind of have to, kind of have to mull over, you know... Because what... I can see the results. Uh, last year and this year, I did the same thing. I made sure I voted before I looked at the results which is very important because you don't want to have your opinion yeah. swayed one way or the other. It's like, oh, this one's doing, either this one's doing well, I want to vote for the winner, yeah. or this one's, you know, I want to give it extra votes to this one to pull it up. I make sure I don't look at the votes yeah. um, before voting. Well, and then you can't. Uh, Spartan581 uh, wants to know how you vote if you're doing it for the first time. Oh, um, you go to the Atari Age forums, which is, just type that in the search engine. It's atariage.com yeah. forward slash forums. And um, and then look under Atari. It's right at the top. It's it's like the second thing in the whole forums. It says Atari Awards. Click on there, and all the polls are there. Hmm. And there's eight eight of them that you can vote in. And also for the nomination committee, you need to get in. There's about half of you have voted for the um, lifetime achievement lifetime achievement yeah. award. Yeah. So that's almost done. But uh, yeah, so get your votes in. You still have uh, four more days to get those in. So lots of time to decide and play through the games. Mm -hmm. um, and you should have been playing the games before the polls oh, went up yeah. as well. Because I put out the list a long time ago of the nominees. Yeah, so you can so see So that them. people can, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Dan ABC. That, awesome. That's exactly where um, you go to vote. 
Um, Dan ABC says I'm going to be playing Fuel on the 2600 and 7800 on MES, and I'll watch the 8 bit 5200 videos. Yes. And I just installed a uh, 50 an 8 bit emulator, which was really, really good. That's what I'll be using for um, playing the games on Monday. Mm. And if anybody wants to know of a really good emulator, um, let me just bring it up as my hard drives wake up. Um, in the meantime, yeah. Um, yeah, we're going to be continuing on with the rest of the nominated nice. 2600 games. And I made, printed out the list, and I've checked off the ones that we've already played to make it easier. Mm. Um, and then, mm. so we'll be able to go through that. Oh, here we go. And mm. there, software. And the emulator that I started using is Altira. A L T I R R A. It installed easily. It actually doesn't even install. You just run the program. Okay. And it's for Windows anyway. And it looks like it had one for Mac and Linux as well. Anyway, that's the one I, I found that I'm going to be using for the emulation for mm. um, Monday when we go through nice. those games. Exciting. Um, that's about it. And so let's get okay. on with the game. Bye. There's a lot to get through. Yeah. So it's it time seems to like play. a lot of people are still waiting and watching. Yeah, um, trying to get a get a sense of the games before that's they good. vote, which is cool. Yeah, yeah, and there's and there's different ways to evaluate why you would vote a certain for a certain game. Oh so, yeah, and yeah. there's no right or wrong way to no. vote. No, it's based on your criteria, what you think uh, you get the most enjoyment out of, or whatever criteria you want hmm. for voting, or the one you play the most. Sometimes uh, that's what I was going for for on some of them. It's like, well. I keep going back to this game over and over again, um, be, and that's a good criteria to, to judge it on. It's like, well, this is an addictive game, or it's mm -hmm. a fun game, or, mm -hmm. you know, something like really that. Really good replay, and... Yeah. yeah. So Everyone's oh, different. Everyone has their own different evaluations, and the first game we're going to be playing tonight is A Roach in Space. Because have I played in, this game? Because they're in alphabetical order, <laughs> so it's yeah. A. a. <laughs> Just to make it all Have even. I played this game. I don't think I played this game. I don't know. Well, we'll find out very soon. It's by VHZC, so you know the name. Mm -hmm. um, so let's get this going here. Oh, where's our little logo? Where's our title? It's really weird. Did it disappear? Yeah, and that didn't start up. What is happening? Uh oh. Start playing yet? Oh, I, uh, let's see. Oh, that's right here. Then it turned off. No, that's not it. Hmm. So you can start that so the music start. It doesn't keep playing over and over again. Uh, awards logo. Why? I'm confused. Oh, I know. No, you're not playing yet because I'm taking control. Oh, uh, that would explain why I seem to have no control. <laughs> There we go. There's the awards. Okay. Now we can get on with it. Okay. So, this game is much better than a roach in my bathroom. So that should be put on the back cover of it. Uh, it's too late because the, the, the box has already been put out. So I uh, can't put that testimonial from, from the D-Train. I so, am supposed to kill things, right? Yep. Ah! It's a space shooter, ah! but with a twist. There's... <laughs> Lots of other things than, than that are flying and shooting you. They're, uh, then they've got different shots. Very much like a VHZC game. Of course, it's a huge variety of, of enemies and a huge variety of styles of enemies and the way they shoot you. Jeez. <laughs> so, Roach in Space, this is nominated for Best Homebrew, uh, Best Music and Sound, and Best Packaging. And I think I have box right here. I'm not going to open it up. Um, you can check out the packaging on ah. in the forums. But here's the box for a roach in space. Looking mighty fine Jeez. with a roach on the front cover. Ah. And a very um, kind of comic book. I think it has a, it has a comic book inside it. The manual looks, oh, like, nice. a, looks yeah. like a comic book. Yeah. Yeah. My turn. Okay. And uh, we're going to be playing these games once or twice or three times then moving on depending on the type of game yeah i i assume there are quite a few to to get through uh yes i love the intro song that kukaracha post-apocalyptic style yeah <laughs> did it did it did it did it yeah it's pretty cool so 
this yeah, one. Those guys are hard. And I have to get ahead of them. Yeah. To stay to the side. And avoid them. And avoid them. What I usually do is stick to one side on those guys. That makes sense. There are bosses if you can survive long enough. Mm -hmm. It is not an easy game. No, it is, it is a no. challenging game. No. Ugh. And you've got your little health bar yeah, on the bottom which left. Depletes way too fast. If you ask me. And you do get, you do get um, do extra health. You get boosts, like extra. While. Yeah. Okay. It's a little okay. while to get them though. Yeah. And this is uh, more along the lines of VHZC's more tough games. Mm -hmm. Oh, can you get that cat? Kitten. He's looking for the uh he's looking for attention. Is what he's, looking for. <laughs> he's like there's there's a roach behind the screen. <laughs> Kitten. Sorry. Ah. Oh, life. Sorry. Blame the cat for that one. I love space shooters. <laughs> and so the combination of VHZC's uh style yeah. and a space shooter. Pretty good. It's a good combination for oh, me. Oh, the cat is excited. He is. I, I don't know if you can see yet. Yeah, you can see him on the cat cam. The problem with he 2600 is... games is that they're so contrasty and have big, big graphics yeah. that stand out against the background. It's just the nature of the way they, uh, yeah. the way they, they look and the graphic capabilities of the 2600. Well, that cat's like them. Yeah. I think when you have, especially when you have a black background, oh, they yeah. seem to really, they, it really stands out. So he's actually looking for the Kukaracha. Yes, he is. He's like, hey, I like that thing on the screen. <laughs> Maybe I can kill it. Oh, no, I got hit. Finley1970 says, I enjoy beta testing this one a ton. Oh, I got a power up. In. Oh, and you did. Very nice. A little bit of life. That's a pretty fun game. A little bit is better than uh, none at all. Ooh, that was Ooh, close. Ooh, that was close. That was not Ooh, that was <gasps> the low close ones are well. really... Kitten. And he does this because I get mad. Look. Oh! <laughs> I'm going to get hit. I got hit. Psst. <laughs> I like my television. Please don't destroy it. <laughs> you did very well, though. I didn't make it to a boss, but... Well, I'm not making it to a boss. Hey, Charles Reese. Hey, Spinley. 1970. Texas checking in. This game is as brutal as my first divorce, he says. But I'm bunching. <laughs> Ah, ah, stand, I don't stay like to that. the side, stay to the side, stay, and just avoid, go up, there you go. That's, that's my solution for this guy. The rest of the enemies, they're just, they're just hard. They're all over the place. This is the only one I actually find somewhat avoidable. Ah. Ah. And mostly I just stay to the bottom, unless it's one of those ones like where I died Side on. ones, where yeah. Coming in on the side and you don't that's, know where they that's, are. That's really challenging. And then I just stay in the middle. Ah. Oh my goodness, sometimes. I do like the repetition though, because it gives you a little bit of an opportunity. They just come straight for you. <laughs> they do. I'm also Milton Buddhist, depends on the account. Uh, uh, depends on your mood that day. Yes. Oh yeah, you're mad. You're mad. You're mad. You're not letting you do what you want. So get upset. Still watching the TV. Is he? Yeah. I'm gonna be kicked out. Ah. I'm very oh, watching. No, no, no! Oh. oh, that was much better than the first time. Excellent. So well, we will move on. That's a good right. enough of a look at that. Fun, 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 very fun, fun game. game. I want to go back and play. As all these will be. <laughs> um. So the next one is Ardvark. Let's get to that. Um, so this is by Oscar Toledo Guterres, uh, Nano Chess, and Thomas Yench for both design and coding, and Nathan Strum for graphics. As you said it, their names came up on the screen. Oh, that that timing. that's just gorgeous timing. And the cat is locked out. Cat gets kicked out. <laughs> oh, here we can see. That's okay. Hasn't changed. Just scrolling. Okay. So this is nominated for best homebrew, uh, best graphics. Best music and sound, best packaging. Clean Very sweep. Nice. Yeah. So good job on this game. So go for it. Or not. And 
go for it. There we go. So we've got normal. I would say leave it. And let's take a look at the box, because this one is nominated for packaging. If I do have it here, I'll show you the boxes. <laughs> and death instantly. No, I just don't. <laughs> so this is the box, very nice cartoonish style, um, with some great screenshots on the back. It has to go through me backwards, right? Yes. Don't touch the tip it's of the tongue to the front of that guy. Oh. You can touch the tip of the uh. tongue to the back of the worm. <laughs> so it's not my strength. I know you're very good at this game. It's all about angles. So just do angles if you want to go down as you approach a hole. And you can press the button to retract your tongue. That was the basic. Oh, is it? Yeah. Which you definitely need to do when you're getting down towards the bottom to make it back up in time. Retract. Retract. <laughs> Close. Watch the ants retract. Oh my god, so close. And the sign goes across the screen. And retract, retract. Oh, you're going for that, smart. Why not? Power pellet, queen ant. And as the, t the sun reaches the end of the screen. Oh yeah, you oh, can't do that, I forgot. The spiders come out at night. Yes, 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 yes. I've seen you play this many times. Hey. Oh, you did. Oh, that was just a, a light. I remember this game from last year's Atari Homebrew Awards. It was a work in progress. Yes, it was. Um, did it win last year? I don't know why I have such a hard time controlling my time. Did it win last year for work in progress? Yeah. Possibly. Anyway, it, yes, it was a work in progress last year. Oh, the ant's butt was I know, appeared I saw on the that. left Wasn't there for funny? a second. That was He's like, eh, no, I'll come out this side. in the wrong button that doesn't help me there's only one button so you can get that um worm from the back oh it's night time and the spiders come out and the only thing that kills a spider is the uh queen oh so this You're will dead. kill me yeah. ah that's a mean spider oh he follows down it though he does he follows your tongue uh, okay so really you should be towards the end of the level mm -hmm. by the time the spider comes the spider comes I know you're very good at this game because you've uh, played don't it say that. <laughs> No, but I mean, I know it's harder than the work in progress, but you would just... Yeah. You have a good feel for this game. Yeah, I really dominated the demo version of Yeah, this. <laughs> well, it I only had the it. same looped five levels, so... Yeah. Oof. Yeah, that was, uh... That was close. challenging. Um, the tactic, really, is to get all the ants... It at, at, in a row of the first couple levels. Mm. Now it's kind of screwed up. Yeah, no, I know um, what you mean. I know because what you mean. then they all come out at once. And then... <gasps> it was retracting the wrong way. Yeah. So I'll show you if I can. So get the first one, get the second one, get the third one, get the fourth one. And mm. that means they'll all come out at once again. Oh, this joystick is very, very sensitive yes, to angles. Yes, I, I, to was, angles, which I is a um, was going to say that was my issue, but <laughs> yeah. it is very sensitive. And then you kind of try and clear out the, the bottom, top, the top levels as much as you can until the ant comes back, and then you, yeah, you kill them. Yep. But you want, I remember you saying you want as many of them to come out. Uh, Damn it. Yes, it did win Best Work in Progress. Ah, thank you very much for confirming that. Yeah, that one is sensitive. Cause... And also getting the queen ant resets all of the ants as well. Mm -hmm. So, there you go. Kind of try and do your best. And then get the first one, and then clean up, and then get the second one and clean BHZC up the rest. BHZC says hi. Hi. Welcome, BHZC. We, we just, just played your game. <laughs> we just finished a roach in space. Yeah. We're zipping through them now. Yeah. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're playing all the uh, games that... The 2,600 games that we haven't covered already yet today. And those... The ones we did cover... 
were Shit. wasting my time. Get this bottom. I'll you save it. Yeah, I could have, but I think I want to save it because I think I have a good chance here. Of just kind of cleaning up a bit. The upper, upper part. Yeah. <laughs> Well, kind of lucky that it wasn't a worm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, the worm came up on level four. There's only one worm on the screen at any time. Um, or does it get higher now, with higher levels? At this level? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know the exact amounts of everything. Definitely far from an aardvark Go expert. Get Go get it. No. Oh. You get the okay. points. Actually, what oh, you should true. do. Yeah, if you're going for points. Before eating the queen. Is wait to the last second so as many things come on the screen. And then you get all the points all, all the, at once. All the points yeah. for all of them at once. But then also they replenish all at the same time too, so. Regardless, they do. No, but like they all come back at the same time, you know what I mean? Which, they do. Doesn't that help? It does, but regardless of when you get it, yeah. it, they all come back at the same time. So it's kind of a, a like a reset. Yeah. So there we go. Now they're on all the levels. All the ants, or one more at least, that red ant is on the fifth. The, the red fifth. ant kills you, or is the red ant... It's the same. same it's as just the other faster. Ants. And they, he seems to turn around as he's well. He's really quick. Yeah, he's a speedy little ant. Eh, makes, he makes, uh, changes his mind, too. That is true. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Incredible, incredible game. Um, using um, stock hardware on the 2600. Mm -hmm. Which is uh, an unbelievable accomplishment. Looking mm -hmm. at the graphics and the sound and the fast pace of it. I think I've said this before. I love the landscape. Oh, yeah. The and mountains. The, and the changing landscapes in the background and the day to night. Um impressive and the i, I think can't really remember beautiful. how many frames of animation the anteater is but uh, the aardvark is but it's a lot and it's extremely impressive yeah there it is go. and he's See? sucking up his ants as you're going through See, now they're all coming out at once got them all lined up you know what i just Cleared realized oh no he does he does uh suck the yeah. ants up in a, in a in a cycle yeah when you get one it goes up the right time yeah it does okay. he sucks it up which is is pretty amazing that that's all triggered by the um Ooh, that was good, that was very good. Yay! yes i know because the winners are also using the harmony games last year the best work various best hack best guitar basing best homebrew ah yeah that makes it easy to remember and the more you get the bigger the bonus now it's oh, caterpillars I believe they're exactly the same as the ants. It's just uh, different uh, graphics. And they have different speeds, I guess. Behaviors. Oh no, what does the caterpillar do? Oh, you re I think he refreshes the dots. He does? If you've, if you've eaten them, he puts them back. <gasps> Bad caterpillar. <laughs> yeah. He's just on the lower levels, so if you use that knowledge to your advantage and yeah. just clear the top first, which is... Yeah, that I normally sense. do anyway. Yeah. Well, you kind of naturally Ugh. do because you... Oh, wormies. Wormies blocking my path. Come I on. love I love that little blue wormy. <laughs> He's <laughs> he is so funny. super cute. He is cute. Oh, now I'm all out of sync. Got a, you got the beautiful purple uh, landscape. Yeah. yeah. Purple tongue. So nice. Yeah. Purple tongue. Purple and gray. Good, good color, color combination. I am going to... I need to do something. Ooh, what is that? Oh, it's, it's a, spider. a spider and a... You can't kill the spider, right? Yes, you can, by doing this. Mm. Now I have to work really quick. Yeah. So I'm going to die if I don't. Ugh. Okay, I'll leave that till the next one. got to get it. Oh! Uh, oh so close. They're so fast. They are. Yeah. But I think I'll be able to finish this. 
And what you want to do is keep your tongue down the middle, if you can. Because then it is um, the furthest away possible from ants coming out, so you can re react quickly to them. Go! Then we'll move on. <laughs> After this. Just happened to be doing fairly decent. I know, I know James likes hard work. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> and we're gonna They're be here for a while. Games. Yeah, I'm not gonna quit <laughs> while I'm playing. <laughs> no. That's for sure. But I barely survived that last one. So I don't know about this one. That tongue retraction. Mm -hmm. Oh god. <gasps> oh no. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't know how you manage that. Pure skill. Wow, pure skill. <laughs> pure <Sure>. skill. <laughs> that time it was a lot of you luck. You can kill them from behind, right? The, the... Yeah. But usually that doesn't end up where, uh, where it all lines up very well. Two, three, four, five, and it's time to do that. Oh, too far. Yeah. Get close to the ant now. <gasps> red ant! See, I was too far to the side. Yeah, that but was he, he goes so fast, that red ant. Yeah. Side. Yeah. Oh no. I can do. Yeah. Oh, spiders. Terrible, terrible, terrible in the house. Terrible. No, in they eat the flies. Well, they eat the bugs. Mosquitoes. Yeah, the mosquitoes. <laughs> Biggest benefit, that's for sure. Level seven, just barely, <laughs> just barely. <laughs> this is on the normal level. Cats do like to torture spiders. Oh. <laughs> Cats are pretty. Oh. Uh, Went down too far. Cats are pretty mean to other animals yeah, in general. That's very true. They don't kill for food all the time. They no. kill for fun a lot of the time. No. I had a cat growing up, and uh, he had. Oh, uh, oh, that would have been tough. I could have had to go. I would have had yeah. to go around. Yeah. That's good. Oh, you have one more left? Yeah, last one. Uh, who liked to, we had, uh, back in the day, we used to let him go outside, and, uh, we had a cat door, and, uh, he had a love of rabbits, <laughs> and my mom would occasionally find him with a baby rabbit in the basement, oh. slowly disemboweling it, oh. so, um, poor little fluffy bunnies. Yeah, not good, not good. No. No, and that's why cat doors aren't the greatest. No. Uh, yeah, it is annoying when your cat wants to go outside, but um, it also means they can bring Two, things inside. <laughs> three, so. four. Almost. Down there. Oh, too far. I need to get to that. Yeah, you do. Do it. There you go. I need to get here. Then I'll go for the other. Two. You've got two screen. left. Oh. Full oh. screen. Nice bonus. There you go. Yay! Oh my god, I didn't think I'd make it to Do you get a free life level. at any any point or no? Quite a lot, actually. You get free lives? Yep. Yeah. I don't know what it is at, but um, every 10? So I'm very close to a 10 one. levels? 10,000. 10,000? I think. But we'll see. Maybe. Oh, we'll see. see soon. Remember all the rules to all these games. Just do it too quickly. <laughs> Maybe you have to hit the end of the level? Maybe. Do you have to complete the level to get the extra lives? Two, three, four. Oh, they're coming out so fast now. Go get the, go get the queen. There you go. They are so fast, eh? Yep. Ugh. You. Trouble. 
It's quite an ingenious game when you think about it. The um... It is. Now I'm done. Cause yeah. I have no lives and I have no queens and the spider is already past where I can... Yeah, it's over. It's uh... over. Not bad, actually. That was very a good. very good game. Yeah. So I chose you that game. That's yeah. for sure. <laughs> there you go. So the next one we're going to be playing is Bass Fishing Tournament by Andy Quinlan, a.k.a. 2600. Now, have you, you played this one where you're catching fish and you have to bring up the big one from the bottom? Maybe you haven't. I don't know. No. No? No. Okay. I don't... Uh, no, I don't think so. So this is nominated for Best Homebrew, uh, Best Graphics, and that is it. Best Homebrew and Best Graphics. Mm -hmm. So, jump into it. How does it work? Oh, uh... So the button retracts your hook, and left and right. Uh, move the no, fish, left and right. No, I have I've seen you or Erlen... You have to bring it to your boat. The ones at the bottom are worth the most, and the ones at the top are worth the least. And when you bring up one from below and you run into a smaller one, it'll exchange for the smaller one. Mm. So you have to be very careful when bringing up the big one. And the big ones are harder to move because it's mm. heavier fish, so it's slower to move. It's really slow. <laughs> yeah. So as you bring it up, it gets harder to avoid the fish. It's a very clever um, balancing act. Welcome, McMuse. Welcome. Oh. Oh, yep. It's always the top one, which gives you the least point, but it stays there. Which is good. Oh, my goodness. And then he goes down. <laughs> yeah, because you have to reel him in, right? He tries to get it's away. It's a very smart mechanic. Oh, it's, it's a really, really clever mechanic. <laughs> you also have to be careful of not accidentally hooking a fish when you're trying to get one of the big ones. So it's a really... Oh, oh just, you drop just, really fast. Yeah, I don't know if the bigger guys drop faster they do. than the smaller guys. Oh, they definitely do. <laughs> so you have to just let go for a second, like just millisecond. So is it worthwhile going for the big fish as far as points or getting lots of small fish in a row? I did a massive amount of calculations. <laughs> yes. <laughs> on this game. Yeah. Doing all the math. Yes. Going, okay, how, what is the fish worth? How long does it take to get from there to the top? How much time do you have each level? Oh my god, this guy is so heavy. And yes, it is worth getting the biggest fish. And then there's even a massive, massive, massive fish that sometimes <sighs> comes along the bottom. Yeah, and can you even get it? You can. He calls the, he's called the Lunker. And you can get him. He is incredibly difficult to get. Um, he is worth getting if you're really, really skilled at the game and you know you're going to be able to reel him in. But he takes so long that I think you can only get two per level if he even appears to have two per level. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it goes down so slowly. And as the game progresses, um, the scene changes. Um, I think to nighttime. Mm -hmm. Can you die in this game? Or is it by time? It's, it's by time. Uh -huh. So if you make it to a certain threshold, which I believe is 1,800 points, you get to go to the next level. Oh. And yeah, incredible graphics on the front, on the title screen. Really, really great sunsets and graphics on the, um, the fisher, fisher guy. And the great... Oh, there's the Lunker. I wouldn't bother going for him. No. Because... You can hook you can hook him if you want to look take a look. Won't hurt. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and that's how slow he is. So on the right hand side, I think is how much time you have left. Or is it the guy at the top boating the boat goes to the left? That's how much time you have left. I think that's what it is. And it's all about the hook touching the fish, not the fish touching the fish. So go to the right. Because you could you can move left and right quickly, but you can't move up and down quickly. Oh, yeah. No. Time is, oh, Lost you let him, him go off the screen. Oh. And he's like gone. He's gone. So yeah, time's almost up. How 
Have you you've hooked a big one? A uh, uh, bigger yeah. one. Bigger yeah. one, not the big one. Not the lunker. Lunker's super hard. So wing in. Win. Yeah, seven so sixty five. How much do you need? Eighteen hundred. Eighteen hundred. Okay. Okay. McMew says hi. Yep. So beautiful. You know. I love the waterfall. waterfall. I love that. That's great. And there is a. What is it? What are you doing? There it is. Oh. There's one of the uh, one of the uh, Easter eggs in the game. Yeah. You if get you, junk. If you saw what I did. Garbage. Um. Yep. You get junk and garbage. I can't remember. There's something with the bones too. I don't know if he fixed it or not. Oh, oh my God. They, they start. They start. To... No. If you like, bring the bones up from the bottom, and then you touch other ones, it like replicates the bones or oh. something. I can't remember what it was about. That's definitely uh, um, an issue. Oh, oh, there, I reset it. I don't know how you lost him. <laughs> That's oh, and you is. hit the middle there. Because I let him go, and I wasn't on top of the the Fisher guy. Oh, that didn't work. That's interesting. What? Um, the middle. Part? It only works with the bones that you can make him float in the air. That's funny. They float on the surface. Yep, <laughs> they're flying fish. Yeah. <laughs> Flying dead fish. Anyway, Flying I'll, I'll play the fish. proper proper game. Okay. Oops. No, no, no. There we go. And I think there is another um, another Easter egg in this as well, somewhere. So I've played perfect games in quotes. Have where, you for this one? Yeah. Where you always I'm well get well out of practice now. Oh. Where I always get the biggest fish. Yeah. At so... the exact amount of time that's possible. Mm -hmm. Like I don't delay. I don't get interrupted. You the, don't. The you don't goes... end up going. You know, swapping it out at any point. No. And the hook goes down and hits him perfectly, and goes right up to the the guy at the top perfectly, nice. wasting zero time. And how many points did you get doing that? You'd have to check the forums. <laughs> I can't remember. It's, it's been like. Uh, yeah, a little while. Four or five months. Yeah. So it's like that, and then it's boom. I'm not not doing that. Yeah. But going straight down to the big fish. No, I'm playing terribly. No, that's all right. Oh. See, I'm not prepared for that. <laughs> Let's try and get it. And there's timing that you can do with your... Oh, no. Yeah, oh. I knew that was going to happen. Yeah, I was trying to avoid it, but... You also do want to clump your fish. You want them in their all their proper positions, <laughs> or else they start clumping up and making difficult, making life difficult because they go in different opposite directions. Gotcha. I think on the second level they reverse their course. Ugh. Like I was intensely playing this for about a week. <laughs> this game when it came out. So I'm well out of practice. As you can see. <laughs> Actually, you can move to the left quickly, right? But uh, to the right quickly, but not to the left. At mm. least with this fish. <gasps> There's the lunker. So I'll give him a try. I will fail. He is pretty big. Oh, swapped him out. Yep, I guess there was two on the same level. And I'm going to mess up because of that again. So this one you want to try and keep to the right a little bit. So you can go, or to the left, so you can move to the right? Uh, to the right, so you can move to the left. Mm. Because he moves to the left quickly. Oh, I see. And what you want to do is when you're passing by a fish, you want to just... Yeah, he's hard. Just barely skim it. See, all these are all out of order. Yeah. They're going to make my life difficult. And getting this lunker past, oh, dropping way too far down each time. Kind of have to do like, like just barely clear it. That guy is so fast though. Ugh. I knew you were. I I knew you'd have a hard time getting past you him. Kind of almost have to. On the last fish, you have to kind of get him above. Oh, did it! Wow, that was just took two passes. Two passes. 
of of catching them on your hook on the hook. No, no, you had more than two passes. No, I mean at the top, <laughs> the top fish, the top fish. Oh, I see. Very, yeah, very yeah. top fish. So yeah, this yeah. should give me the eighteen hundred. Yay! And it gets to the next screen. I won't play the next screen, but um, you can. Uh, it's a long, long game. So I believe it's eighteen hundred, which makes sense. I think to make it optimally to get the lunker, it's it's uh, only worth it if you can do it really well. Like yeah, that without one, like do it the first time without yes. swapping out. Hmm. I don't I don't think I did it fast enough to make it. Worth it. Oh, now we're on the second, and he's going back. Oh, it's fast. And the fishies are a little bit faster. Mm -hmm. oh, there's bass fishing. Oh, that's true. All bass, all the time? <laughs> <laughs> all bass, all the time. Are, are bass usually green? I don't think so, but that's okay. It's the uh, light in the water that's making them green. I er, see. If you go down far it's enough... It's the filtered light, right? Filtered you light. get the, the, the blue color. Yeah. It starts filtering it out as it goes lower and lower. That's right. There we go. Their silvery scales go kind of bluey-green. Nice. So I believe... You have to get double 1800 now. So 2600. Uh, Easy. This level. Oh, that's what you Not double do. on top, just no, no, not another 1800. Top. Another 1800. Yeah. Well, it's challenging because they're moving even faster. <laughs> yes. Hmm. James got it. Awesome. I did, actually. That, it's, it's not easy getting that, <laughs> that lunker. He might have made it easier in, in subsequent builds, but I do have a bit of practice. So then you want to go to the left to get it past. There you go. It's, it's a very relaxing game. Once, uh, mm -hmm. once you get good at it, it's kind of just... A, you're doing the same thing over and over again. No. Oh, not if you mess up your head. But it's a patterned game. Right? Yes. The way you... Once you get used to the pattern of, of the fish. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Did I make it? Nope. <laughs> Not even close yet. What did you, what did you need? 3,600. Um, 3, 3, yeah. Oh, you get nothing for those little guys. Oh, yeah. Like, barely Useless. any points. <laughs> Oh, no, I set up a very difficult thing to get past. Ugh. Ugh. Just Ugh. keep swapping Ugh. them up. Ugh. 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 I won't make it. Look, there's three on the same plane. Line. Ugh. Ugh. And the problem is, it just gets worse. You almost worse. want to clear them out a little. You, you have to. Ugh. Just made a massive fish all over the place at the top here now. It's all in the wrong spots. No! No! This one! No! Come on! There. Uh, now this one. No. Come on. Clear out that one. And then clear out that one. Oh. Why is it big? There we go. Just come all the way to the left. There we go. That's going to take a little while to get over. There won't be enough points. I think he's 90? 90? 90 points? No, oh, 200. 200. Sorry. He, was a big, the... he was a big one. He was one of the big ones. Right. Hmm. If I get two of these, I'll be able to get to the next level. Mm -hmm. I like the uh, seaweed at the bottom. Mm, yeah. Nice little blocky, blocky seaweed at the bottom. Very nice color. Nice. Oh, 35. Oh, five points for those little guys. So I just need this guy, because I think he's 90 points. And Oof. another five. Nah. Is he 90? Oh, <laughs> oh, just. That's okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> so close. There you go. That's a good, good play through that game. Uh, next one up is BitQuest 2, which is an RPG. It's going to be very involved, but... Oh. We'll just play it very briefly, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. 
more like an arcadey um arcadey rpg and this one metal. is by brian wayne shea metal babble and it is nominated you can jump right in or not or not at all there try now Ooh. so cute cutesy art have you played this one no oh, it's I'm cutesy this. rpg you can kill those guys nice um, and you have to go in dungeons and collect items and get your hearts back up. Yeah, I just got, you got hurt. Mushed. Mushed. So this is nominated for Best Homebrew, Ooh, Best perfect. Graphics, Best Homebrew, and Best Graphics. They're like little storm clouds. Oh! Percy70 says, ah! I don't remember this one. Yeah, some of these we played quite a while ago, so mm. it's good to revisit them. Um, after not uh, seeing them or not playing them for a while, to oh, remind goodness you. Goodness gracious! Oh boy, down to one, one heart. Very uh, Zelda-like mm -hmm. game. Oh, there's some cherries. You want to get those? Does that get you? Oh, full health. Okay. Nice. But now it's gone. Oh. Oh, castle. That's where I started? Let's go in there. Or is that where you started? That's where okay. I started. So I would just explore. Don't bother. Your full health. Don't bother killing them. No. No. You're cute, though. <laughs> One's like a little storm cloud. Uh, uh, what do you ah, think that one is? Bumblebee and storm clouds. Storm cloud, yeah. And there's like a river that goes along. We mapped all this out when we were playing it. I think this was one with Erlen because he really loves RPGs. He loves, he loves mapping things. So I, I usually gonna... reserve those games for, for Erlen. So I think you want to go around the river. Now you should attack them because you need your health. Yeah, that's how you get your In health general, back. I wouldn't attack them. No, but you get your health back that way. You risk your health. Actually, that might be the border. It might have been a, a pass through up above. Let's see, now you're full health. Don't attack them. Let's see how he's down there. Ah! What? It's very confusing. Those are the borders. This one has a sequel, I think. Yes, this one. This one is a sequel uh, to BitQuest. This is BitQuest 2. A... Yeah, the borders aren't the borders, right? I know. It looks like there's a space there, but you have to. You have to think that's the edge. It's a little, a little deceptive and confusing. I wonder why he didn't extend those all the way across the screen. Jesus. Yeah, I would run away if you're not prepared for him. Ah! Oh, he came back! He does. Uh, the monsters reset every time. Oh, I don't like this. <laughs> the borders are very deceiving. Yeah. I would just avoid them. I don't mind. Because you're not earning anything. There are no points ah! for this came game. right for me. And a way to kind of cheat it is to kind of go on the edges and stay near the edges. There you go. Cherry! Ah. Oh, the cherries do revive. Oh, they do. No. They, you, you completely That's revive. Handy. It's been so long since I played this. Ah, dungeon. Finally. Character looks <laughs> looks like low. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> you okay? Mm -hmm. What happened? <clears throat> Trying to breathe, um, breathe in things I'm not supposed to breathe in. Yeah, that's that's always. <clears throat> uh, yeah, Charles Reese says character looks like Lolo. Uh, Lala, actually. Oh, I haven't played enough Lolo to know the characters. I do have, I do have the game. On, <clears throat> on cartridge. Where are my Lolos? There's Lolo. I don't think it's the same color, is it? That's Lolo. Low, low. No. Lolo's blue. Adventures of Lolo. So if the character was blue, I guess this would be Lala. Yep. Oh, there you go. Got something. I Got have a key. key. Ah. Ah. Don't move too fast. Don't attack them. Why not? Because <laughs> there's in my no way. point. They're in my way. They're dumb. They move out of the way. 
Well, they're not. They're not going for you. Directly going for you. I think that's it in here. It's just the key. Is that it? I have to go back out. Yeah, I think that's There's the nothing only else? thing. In no, here. you're right. Ah! Lolo is a really great game. Yeah, I think I have all three Lolos, but the problem is I have more money than time, apparently. I, have, <laughs> I haven't played them all. <laughs> that's a problem. I think that's always the thing that is a big joke. When you're a kid, you have tons of time and no money. And no money, yeah. And as an adult, you have, an, you have money but no time. Yeah. To, to enjoy the things you can buy with the money. That's very true. But I mean, if I ran a, an NES streaming channel, I'd be able to play all those games. But I picked a 2600 to stream, which I do not regret at all. So now you have to find somewhere to use that key. Huh? Can you go up? Oh, oh another one. That was Close, hidden. She closes her eyes when she goes in the dungeon. Ah. I always hated bats in, in games like this. They always There's... move way too fast. <laughs> There's always bats. Always. Yeah, these are not fun. Because they're all coming out from all over the place. Now you have four possible. Nice. Okay, we do have to move on after a little while because this is an RPG that can take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A long time. <laughs> a long time. It is a good game. I think we, we did fun. finish this game, if I remember correctly. It's not... It's not too big of a game, so it's a very, it's a good size, and you can finish it fairly quick, quickish, if I remember. I think we've finished both BitQuest and BitQuest 2. You can go in the archives and check for that. Lala is pink with a cute bow on top of her head. Ah. Mandatory bats, yes. Always bats. Oh, big ones. Don't get hung up. Ah, ah, Getting hung ah, up. Ah, ah, ah. 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 Oh no, you're down too. Oh, we didn't give you a... I don't always give you. Dungeon. Going into a dungeon with half health. I don't know. Can't you get your health back? You can. Yeah. Oh, I would do that on the scorpions, yeah. Because they're pretty slow. I don't like the bats. Oh, the bats are not a good thing. Make sure you go at full health with the bats. This is like a desert dungeon with scorpions. Yay. Two keys. Two keys. I think there might be three, no doors. Three keys. <laughs> four. Five. Ah. I can't remember. Oh no, I'm gonna die. It's the end. There's nothing to do here. Oh, you're really? About to die. Uh. Except get health. Really? It's, it's the end. It's the room. The room mm, ends. It's true. Where's the? Uh, no. If you're gonna kill scorpions, at least kill all of them. I don't <laughs> think they're giving me health. Oh, I would get out then and try and get health above ground. Okay, be very careful. Mm. So it's big bad guys. You can always run away. Oh, give me health. Go find that cherry that you had before. Is that annoying? <laughs> the sound. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. I wouldn't do that. A lot of nice sprites. Yeah, the, the graphics are really, really nice in this. And uh, not surprisingly, it is um, nominated for best graphics. Nice variety of, of characters with nice shading. If you look at the um, the clouds there, it's like gray, darker gray, black, and the nice lightning bolt, and the bees are beautiful. Not and the character's great. Not dropping anything. Of course not. When you need them to drop something. Useless. Careful. Oh, oh! Out of nowhere, wrapped around. Oh, they never give you the they never give you the hearts when you need them. Nope. That's okay. That's pretty cute. I really like the graphics. Yeah. You can see why it was nominated for best yeah, graphics. Yeah, I can. Yeah, that's really cute. So now we're gonna be playing Daredevil by Muddy Funster. Nominated for Best Homebrew, Best Graphics, Best Music and Sound, as you can hear. Mm -hmm. The music's great. This is gorgeous music. Yeah. And it's got an echo. The yeah. person who did this music, I can't remember his name is, something Sky. Something Sky it might be there. Yeah. I suppose it says I love that music. Yeah, this is one of the best um, 
probably one of the best tunes, mm. original, original tunes that I've ever heard on the Atari 2600. I wish I knew who did the sound. Uh, the music, I would shut them out. Um, go for it. Okay, have you played this before? Yeah, I think okay. so. Then you're good. You can press the button to skip. Balloons are fine. They sometimes give you power-ups, make you invincible the for balloons, a short period of time. Not the hot air balloons. Not the hot air balloons, the balloons. So up is slow, down is fast, left and right. Button does something or nothing? I don't think it does anything. And then you want to land on the landing pad in the middle of the landing pad. Ah. Oh. And there's wind, as you can see in the bottom left. No wind right now. No screen. Well, can't you just imagine what's happening? <laughs> Picture it in your head. Picture it in your mind. These eye. beautiful sprites. I can't move now. Sorry. There you go. You survived it. <laughs> Don't know how, but I did. <laughs> Show the game, show the game. Yeah, so we're switching back and forth a lot. Mm. So I might mess up a couple times. Ah, too fast. Now, a hint on this yeah. is that they're always in the same position when you switch to the next screen. Yeah, when, if you know. So watch the top when yeah. you're at the bottom. And then plan your route accordingly. Oh, I should have gone, gone down. Fast, yeah. yeah. I was looking at what was coming next. R.I.P. Okay, I'm gonna run out very quickly. Okay. This turnip doesn't say the name of it. I like how he ad ad advertises his tire tracks in his his game in this game. No button doesn't do anything. Didn't think so. Is that the first Atari game to advertise another Atari game within its Atari game within the game? I bet it is. I've never seen that before. Does anybody else know that? It's like, it says, tire tracks available from Atari age. That is really funny. I never even thought about that before. So I think there's like six screens. I don't think there's any wind on the first level. I think the wind kicks in on the second. It has some rain. Oh, it's a lot of... And the uh, background gets lighter. There we go. Or at least changes. Well, not quite perfect in the center, but not bad. There's spy music there. Nice animation. Oh, let's get that balloon. Oh, no, just missed it. Normally, sometimes the balloon messes me up more than anything else, just trying to get it. So I don't normally go for it unless it's like right in my line of what I'm trying to do. But I wouldn't go out of your way for it. Because I think the invincibility only helps for one screen. And the clouds don't do anything. The birds push you. Don't don't kill you, but they just push you along, which can be uh, very much like um, what's the Activision game Barnstorming, where you don't die from the birds; they just annoy you a lot. <laughs> Sometimes they can help if you're on the wrong side of the screen and you want to get to the other side. Well, let's try and get a better. Oh, it's a little bit of wind. You have to push up when you're about to land. I'll be, I think I'll try and make scrolling text for my game's titles, too. It's a cool touch. Yeah, and, you know, 2600 makes it fairly simple-ish to do it. You just change what line you're reading in memory, and you display that one. Scrolling vertically, I mean, anyway. Scrolling horizontally, that's, a, that's another thing. This whole other thing. Start multiplying by twos and stuff like that. Ooh, connect to... Damn it. What happened? I hit a balloon. Oh, it's snowing. Yeah, and it has wind now. It's like Vancouver in the last couple of weeks. Uh, Vancouver in the uh, in the winter, <laughs> general winter weather. Mm. But it has been pretty rainy recently. Recently, but a week ago it was just terrible. Horrible. <laughs> terrible. Snow and just chaos, absolute chaos. So yeah. For those of us who have to leave commute house? into work and leave the house every day. <laughs> Not fun. I just play games all day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what are 
those? Which the birds, the planes, uh, those planes, stripy, the red planes, yeah, kind of they're stripy, kind of neat. stripy, stripy red planes. Not bad. Mm -hmm. Pretty close to the center. Dan ABC says, nice game. Yeah, yeah it's it's a fun, uh, very easy to understand. Um, not so easy to master. No, because you are you have a constant momentum downwards. So you can slow yourself yeah. a little, but... There's no safe zone. No, if you, if you don't, if you go, don't go, pop go. out at the right spot at the, at the screen, you can really just be in a really tough spot. So. Yeah. As you say, you almost need to memorize a, the screens and figure out where you want your yeah. guy to be. There's a pattern now. It's it's really gets difficult when things start moving really fast. Yeah. Other than that, I don't find it too, too hard. hard until it gets to the higher levels when, yeah. they, when they start moving fast. Noises. Cat noises? Maybe. Is there a gray cat? Um, I haven't seen him yet. No. Oh, the beach. I think you have to land on the sand and not the water. A lot of stuff on the screen at the same time flowing smoothly. Very nice. Yeah. I mean, maximum three across. So he's, he's planned it out so that there's only two player characters on any given line. But very, very colorful. Oh, yeah. These where they go up and down. Now it starts getting, getting a little bit more tricky. Yeah, the... Characters don't cross each other at any point, so there's no f there's no flicker ever needed to come into play. Oh, missed it. Oh, God. I went for it. See, it almost messed me up. And I shouldn't have gone for it. Problems? He was locked in the bedroom. Oh, who did that to you? I don't know. Oh, cat. <laughs> who would do such a... Oh, that was close. Guy. That's what the scratching was. That was that the heard. scratching noise. I was like, what is the scratching all about? Oh, now there's Aww. trees you have to avoid. There we go. He's happier now. Yeah, now you're it's okay. Weather and they're bobbing and they're fastish. They're oh, they're going like this a little. Yeah. Is that like a cloud or is it a blimp like the white thing? The second one or the third one? The on big the white thing well, that's, that's going. That is a cloud. But you, you can't go through it? Yeah, yeah, clouds are fine. Oh, okay, so you can go through Birds them. are fine, too. They, really? They push you along, though. Oh, I see, I see. And they can mess you up pretty bad. Yeah, but they don't They don't. They don't hurt you. you. No. Unless they push you off the screen. Then they gotcha. do. Gotcha. Poor great cat. I should be playing this on the hard level. <laughs> yeah, you have it on normal, right? <laughs> yeah. A little too easy. A little too easy for me. Whoa. played this quite a bit. Oh, Ooh, my goodness. Oh. There we go weird effect going on there oh what yeah there's trees you have to miss the trees and the uh, water i think yeah that would make sense you don't want to drown oh. get it get it nope now it's now they're speeding up and slowing down oh now yeah it's yeah like... i remember i remember this level is probably the hardest yep yeah oh, man. it was the hardest because because it's hard to time them now no if you speed up they speed up no 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 no. 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 Really? No. no. Well, for a while there. That's what you said last time. Really? It just seems that way, but it's It not. does seem that way. I guess it's because of the pattern of you speeding like up I'm and not touching down. it. Uh, and then speed up and slow down. It's just the way I'm... It's the pattern I'm of your movements. Them. Yeah. Because I'm trying to get away from them at the same time. Hmm. Yeah. This is, this is when it gets really hard. You have to be well ahead of them. Oh, that was... Oops. I was on easy. Did you? Oh, it's only easy or hard. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Let's see what hard does just for a second. It's definitely faster. Yeah. But it's the same level. It's just faster. Same level, just faster. Yeah. So, okay. Good. Oh, well, you've got a cat. I've got a cat for oh, now. For now. <laughs> I can trade there you, you a cat for a controller if you want. Fun game. Mm -hmm. That was Daredevil. And the next one is Dragon's Descent. By Todd uh, Fermansky, a.k.a. Revan mm -hmm. And this one is a bit of a curved when you start doing it. Um, 
I'll play it because you've got okay, a cat. Okay, I'll watch. Don't want to disturb the cat. Well, the catting. He will get on your lap if I disturb him. So he's really happy now that he's let it's out. It's because of the, of the men momentum. Oh, oh. Then you have to kind of get used to that. So I haven't played this in a while, so you're gonna have to bear with me. Oh. You can't run One into shot? those things after they die. You can't run into the walls either. Those go straight for you. Okay. Those are the worst. Now I like getting heart first. I can't remember what the tactic was that we ended up with. Hmm. Um. <laughs> okay. And you have to get to the... Oh, my you God. You die when you hit the walls. That was the one thing I asked oh. you and you didn't answer. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, you die when you hit the walls. You die when you hit anything. Okay. Yeah, it's Fair not... Enough. And you shoot horizontally. Yeah. Only. Only. Not vertically? No. So if you're moving up? No. Mm. Just horizontally. Uh, that's true. So you have to kind of plan for that. So you can't... I can't shoot that guy. I have to... Ah, ha, ha. Um... VHZC says, I'm with my cat too. Sir Meowington, the first of the House of Grey, is a fan of your <laughs> channel as well. Oh, channel Sir Meowington. Two. Welcome yes. to the show. <laughs> oh my god. Those cats. I think they're like cats in cloaks. That's what I look, think. Of the, cats oh, in that. cloaks? Oh no, not that. That's just a cat. The other thing. What? There's the key. There's the key. I'll point them out. Cats in cloaks. I think I was mixing up this guy and the cats, the flying cats. Flying cats. This guy looks like uh, Cthulhu. Yeah. Or Cthulhu. Mini Cthulhu. Mini Cthulhu. So you have to get the key, and then you have to get the door, and there's a power up in every level. And if you wait too long to do the maze, there you go. Door. There's the door. Um, the big bad dragon comes after you, or the difficult dragon comes after you, and you're in trouble. And there's a couple settings. Oh, actually, yeah, we'll see what that guy does. He appears right on top of you. It's the cat face. Cat Evil face. cat face. I don't know. Everything looks like cats to me. Now I have game. the cat face song in my head. Oh, no. <laughs> get, get. See, I can't kill him. Oh, God. Okay, let's just refresh this. Damn it. Ah, ah, go, 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 go. Um, so there's a setting of random. In this game or you can set it to where the things appear in the same spot all the time so you can kind of map it out mm. oh that. there's the cat face that's the cat oh <gasps> oh so you have to keep so there's you have the, to keep moving you have to keep moving because he appears right on top of where you are so you just have to keep yeah which is not the worst enemy no the because as long as you're moving and you don't double back at the wrong time yeah so i find mm. the key somewhere there we go. There's the key. And when we're playing Yo. this game on mm. uh, for, for reals, whoa, whoa, we mapped out where they were <laughs> to make it a little bit easier on us. Aaron, oh Aaron, re Aaron really likes cartography. He does. Yeah. He does like the RPGs in the rooms. Go. Remember when I joined the marathon? We yeah. were playing um, the one where you pick right or left. You're going up the tower, ascending the tower. There we go. Uh, ascending the tower. Oh yes. Um, um, spy. Spies. Spies in the night. night two. Two. Yes. Yeah. Left to right. Yeah. We're mapping them. And out. he had the whole thing mapped out. He's like right, left, right, <laughs> left. I was like, oh okay. Kind of takes the fun out of the game, but okay. <laughs> Once you know heart. which way to go the whole way through. Well, on that one, you almost want to. Yeah. Until I get you, that. Until though. you get really good, because there's a random mode for that one. Oh, uh, so every time you go. It, it, changes uh, it changes every time. Yeah. yeah. I mean, not that that's bad, but because no. that's what you do with these games. But um, I just found it really funny because I stepped in. He's like, okay, right, left, left right, right, left. left. <laughs> I'm like, okay. That, that that looks like a cat <laughs> with a tail. The cat face? Oh, with the tail. Oh, I wasn't paying go. attention. I, I really like... <gasps> I that really... level. I forgot about that one where you it's like you can't just run, run into the room. Quickly. That's my last guy. Yeah. I like the dragon... Um, sprite the animation for it it's movement yes it's like it's like oh yeah the walking wings. and flying i do really like that i need the door now do you recall where the door is <laughs> no each level is different so i can't remember from like five nice. months ago 
Where the door? Oh, oh my god! Oh god! I'm in trouble. I forgot. It's boss time. Oh, and you're down to your last life. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, that's. I won't play because I think you gave it a good once over. So. No signal. Oh no. Here you go. Oh no. Here, hold no this. No host anyway. can. No signal. No people can. Oh no. <laughs> uh, who wants uh -oh. to play this anyway? Hmm. Okay. Weird. Yeah, that is weird. Did it get too hot, or did it get unplugged? Is there a it's mysterious? It's warmish, but it's not. It's not hot. Oh, well. Just restart it. There we go. Oh. Out of focus. Out of focus. <laughs> Good. Good enough. Good enough. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's go on to the next game. Um, and Dragon's Descent, if I didn't say, it's up for best homebrew, uh, best graphics, and best packaging. And, uh, of course, I buy all the games. So let's take a look at the packaging quickly. There we go. What a beautiful dragon on the front black Ooh, yeah that is really nice and purple and blue and mm. screenshots on the back mm -hmm. very nice. Yes, it's very nice so the next one we're going to be playing is evil magician returns 2 which is another rpg it is by one second todd holcomb aka bite knight And this is up for best homebrew, best graphics, best music and sound. So up for three awards. And you can select what difficulty you want, and I believe you probably want one. difficulty one. Oh, let me see, make sure you're focused on that. Okay. Oh, okay. And this is kind of like adventure. Run away. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> We have to get keys and. Why is he chasing me? Oops. A lot of movement in this game. Oh. Uh, he's chasing you to take you away. Ah! Run! Ah, how do I? <laughs> or to kill you, actually. When you start That's over. That's insane. And really nice graphics on the on the wizards there. Ah, oh, yay! Flashing darkness. Oh, there's a key. I know, but there's I can't I can't get there. Yeah, you'll have to... Oh, oh, no. Dead end. Dead end. No, he's going to get me. He's not... No, he's not on that screen. You're no. okay. Oh, he's not on every screen? Now, we have not played this on the show, so I'm just going off by what I can see. Ah! <laughs> oh, no. Do you have infinite lives? <laughs> E.T. sound. Oh, my goodness. That is challenging. This is e level one? E yeah. Well, it's on yeah, this is easiest i'm guessing because there's three um three difficulties unless one is hard i hope not could be usually not usually not yeah we just skipped over dog walk because we already played that on um the last episode on the 4k episode just doing the remaining ones oh, oh close-ish oh there you go Yay, you've got a key now. This is like adventure. Yeah, so now you have oh, to find... Oh, I really don't like this flashing. <laughs> Neither do I. I. I don't like dark, and dark and flashing is even crazier. Oh, another key. Oh, so no. now you know where two keys are. Okay. So okay. now you just have to find... Oh, there you go. Oh, yay, what a reward. <laughs> you get to go in the maze again. I would go get the other key back again, but, now that but... you've opened it. Oh, once it's open... It looks like it stays open. Can I get rid of it? Oh, you, you just You can put drop it, down. it or nice. you can exchange it. So. Oh, there you go. Oh, now you get the skull key. Does that mean I get to go everywhere? Uh, highway to the seizure zone. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. <laughs> it's adventure on steroids. Yes, yeah. Charles Reese. Where's the Easter egg? Yeah, there's an Easter egg in ah. adventure. One of the first no. Easter eggs. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to die. Ah. Oh, ah. another key. Another key. Run. Run. Oh, same key. No, that's the same key. I don't want that key. Oh, you've already got that key. Okay. I Let's... have the gr the gray key. Oh. 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 No. Oh. No, thank you. No. <laughs> uh. Uh. 
Dead end. That guy's gonna... There you go. Oh, so we're back in the red area again. Uh, no, I don't want the red area. No. no that's nothing. Ah! 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 Oh, no! no! Do you start over every time? I don't know where it starts. Press the button. You start at the beginning again, <gasps> but those Lord. gates might be open still. Yeah. Try go places you haven't been yet. Yeah. Why do people insist on putting dark areas in their game? <laughs> With flashing. I'll take water areas any time over dark oh. areas. Oh, that's not fair at all. But you get infinite lives. Do you? Looks like it. I'm starting to think Magician might be up to no good. I mean, maybe. Oh, come on. There's two There's of them. There's two of them. <laughs> <laughs> They're ganging up now. And now you're in a dead end. I'm like totally dead here. I would have stayed in that area where it's not flashing. I don't think you've explored all that yet. No, I haven't explored the yellow side yet, really. Oh, okay. there you go. Dead end. Ah! Red. Oh no, oh no! One is the apprentice. Kamehameha Hadouken hands. Hadouken! <laughs> is that what it is? Yes. Funny. Let's try to go up to the end. Oh, Hi, we've got an Atari nice. cat here now. Hello, Mr. Atari cat. His oh. name is actually Atari. Mm -hmm. Named well before I started the show, right? Yes, years before I started ah! the show. Oh, you <laughs> narrowly avoided him. Yeah. He kind of resets. He doesn't quite fall Oh, in. he does, though. Yeah. And if you look, there's some beautiful torches on the side, too. Torches are great. The magician and... Beautiful his apprentice yeah. i don't know uh they're both beautiful i have stay to say in the yellow stay in the yellow well oh there you go didn't even get that maybe that'll help you oh there see that's what you needed all along you didn't go into the castle so now you, you could so now you can fight them off oh you have to hit them with it though oh, i think okay. it looks like oh it stayed where oh, oh there's a secret passage where up in your castle oh Here. Oh, there is. I lost oh, it, I think. Oh, yeah, you lost your staff, which is incredibly helpful. Yeah. Kind of interesting that it just stays where it was. <laughs> Yay, it's a maze without flashing and darkness. Hooray. Oh, oh, there's the skull! I have to remember where you even died. I did really well before. Yeah, you were almost done. You didn't even have the staff to help, help you. That's all you need is the skull? Azura says he needs to respect his personal your personal space. Who does? The wizards. Is that that's not the skull that's key? That's the white key. The wizard needs to respect your personal yes, space. Yes, he does. It gets right in your face. I know. <laughs> say like, hey, how's it going? It's like, hey, can you back off a bit? My key. Where's the gray one? Is this ah? Oh, <laughs> There's a gray wizard. And you need the skull key. Hmm. That's where the. Because that's where the skull, the skull is. Where was the skull key? Dead. I. I. You probably dropped it in a maze. He just wants to show you his close-up street magic. <laughs> RC70 says. <laughs> Pick a card. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, no, I don't want to pick a card. I don't want to watch a coin trick. <laughs> Let's get caught in the same part of that stupid maze. It's David Blaine. David. <laughs> ah, uh -oh. no! Oh, I'd go up. There you go. Up to the left. Is he? Oh, he's sucking you in. Is he? Yeah, when he's got his hands oh, no. up. And you were to the left. Oh, no, he was like, didn't. Mm. Where are you? Where are you? Come on. He's not coming. Come and get me. Come he's on. Waiting. We'll have to play this on the show. This is pretty fun. I'm sure Erlen would like playing this if he likes oh, RPGs. Yeah. So this is like an action RPG. Oh, I got so close. You did? You were no, like, I don't. <laughs> where, where, where did I put? Does anyone remember where I put the skull key? I would just. <laughs> Was dip. it in a red skull? Whoa! It is. Run! No, not up there. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Just at least, to get at least you got away. Oh, uh, no! Not for long. So it's in the maze above. Run! 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 run. <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm in the maze. It's in the maze oh. above the red castle. Lord, okay. 
Is that to the... No, that was to the right. Ooh, I'll, I'll take, take that, that with you. Okay, the red castle was this way, right? At least it's not far, because all these are connected, right? Oh, does the yellow just loop around? Yeah, it does. No, I don't think so. Does well, it? you just looped completely around. Looped? Yeah, you kept it just loops the oh. confusing. Yeah, I don't think everything leads to exactly <sighs> what remember you have to touch him with it oh, when he comes to you. This okay. That's not good. No. Oh. No. If he's getting close, just make sure you kill him. Go up there. Which way? You haven't gone up. I wanna go down. Okay. Oh, no, maybe I don't want to go down. There's more than one flashing maze, or is there only one? It might be all connected, and you're just exploring different parts of that, of the flashing. Oh, they do stay dead if you kill them? I, The dragons do an adventure, maybe, until it resets. I don't oh, know. That might be a good tactic. Right now we're just trying to find that, the red area. The red area? I want the key. Yeah. I dropped the key in the stupid flashing maze. Above the red area. So we just need to find the red. At least you're out of the yellow. I think the red is this way. There you go. So it's a, up into the castle. Touch him with it. Or not. Oh my god. I thought that killed him. I think you touched him before the staff did. No, but I... Oh, okay. I don't the know. button means nothing then. I don't think the button... But, Oh, that's what... Pro Did you press the button? The I, button I was drops to. it. Oh, and that's why you, you die. You have to touch him. You have to touch him with the staff, not not throw it at him. Uh, that makes sense. Yeah. I think you're close again. There you go. There's the staff. Now take it up. Into the castle. Get the key. Somehow. At least you're close. Okay. Good. Now, I don't oh. know where the staff went, but it looks like a reset. Now, no, go back out, out, out. I don't know. I don't remember where out down, was. Down, 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 over, down, there, down. The <gasps> run. Don't get caught. Here? Uh. Was it here? White knows your original castle. It's the yellow. Yeah, yellow castle. Yellow. Uh. Oh, I always get caught right there. <laughs> Don't ask me where. Was it red? Nope. Oh. Damn it. At least you're away from him. I think these are all connected, so I think you can get from one place to another. Ugh. <laughs> That's where you just were. Oh. He could reskin this for a haunted house version. Oh, yeah, you could. It's already got a skull key. Oh my god, that was close. Is it here? No! Damn it. I'm screwed. Oh, it disappeared. Oh, there he is. Run! Oh no! Oh no! It's in the red maze. <laughs> okay, we're moving on. Okay. Very good game. I think a map would be in order. At least areas. Well, map of areas. It's more fun without like, the map because yeah. then you're kind of finding your own way. But I, I get what you're saying. You would, yeah. you would solve it pretty quick with the map, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, then we're moving on to Galagon, which I still have labeled Galaga in my folder system. <laughs> there we go. What was the name of that RC seven eight seven? That one was Evil Magician Returns Two, which is up for best homebrew, Very best good. graphics, best music and sound. So let's play two player simultaneous because we rarely do on this one. What do we use? You have for? to. There we go. Co-op. Co -op. Uh, let's play advanced, sure. Yeah. So do I start? Yeah. Co-op? Yeah. What? I have to play first. Oh, you have to rescue me. Yeah. Unless we put it on easy. easy. Let's put it on easy. Oh, if you want to. Okay. Put it on easy. Left and right. 
novice. There we go. Is this the one where you can control me? No. Can you fix that? No. Can you get double ships? No. No. <laughs> we are double ships. <laughs> so Galagon is up for best homebrew, best graphics, best music and sound, and best packaging. Get a dive on you. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. It's just so we could both play at the same time right away. When we were in Las Vegas, we were at, we went into an arcade there, um, and they had one of those gigantic pixelated screens, and we were playing a version of Galaga on that, which was really cool. Galaga yes. and Pac-Man. Yes, huge. Like huge screen. wall screen. It was pretty fun. Got used to it pretty quick with uh, Galaga. With, for Pac-Man, I did not get used to it. You need to pay attention to what we're doing here. <laughs> that shouldn't have happened. That should not have happened. Oh, we passed by each other. No, we can. I forgot. Ugh. Oh. Good. Nice. I'm blue. She's red. <laughs> um, and the graphics were by Nathan Strum. Sound and music by Ross Keenum. And packaging by Dave Dries. Did not come back? Oh, nope. you have to rescue me. Nope. Have to get taken up. Oh, I stopped moving! Why did I stop moving? Oh, we switched. Right, it switches. Oh. Forgot. forgot. I haven't played this you in a while. Flash, you right? go, ah! You go, you go, you <laughs> go. Yeah, it flashes. I forgot about that. It flashes and changed players. Oh, no, this is going to be a nightmare. Oh, you've switched. So weird. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> mm. And we shared the amount of lives. Yeah. Splashing? Oh. oh, oops. It needs to be. Now. It needs to be. Uh. More, um, Audible. Obvious. Your turn. Oh, jeez. You have to just pay attention. It does flash. Said than done. There you go. Get in there. Oh, just that picture reminds me of one of his shirts. Mm. Let's see if I can get this guy. The shirt I just got. Ooh, Yay! One good shot. job. Yay, we're back. Woo. Hey, stop moving around. I'm moving. <laughs> Stay on your side. Freddy, jeez. Terrible. Oh, oh. oh no. Who gets like to go one, now? I think it's you, it's blue. Yeah. Blue died last. Makes sense. Oh no, why am I in this corner? I stop moving! I stop moving! Oh, go, 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 go! Oh. oh no! Terrible. <laughs> <sighs> was not. Aww. VHZZC, you still have a good chance. Um, what other option should we play before we move on? I say the advanced two player, where we swap out. Okay, so you have to do that. No. You have to move left and right, advanced. There you go. And it has to co-op, right? There. Now go. <laughs> <laughs> the co-op is pretty cool. The co-op is very cool. I think yeah. that's a really neat addition to this nice game. Nice add-on. Yep. Oh my gosh, that didn't take long. Death right away, because they uh, shoot immediately on a Yeah, I forgot they shoot immediately. Usually you get one level out of it. Yeah. And they dive bomb. Uh, <laughs> Level one. We played this in the arcade a couple days ago. Yes, like original arcade version. Yeah. Uh, I did. No, I did terribly. <laughs> I, did. I don't think I did. You, oh, we, it swapped. I didn't think it swapped in yep, advance. It does. Oh. 
Yep. So Let's do that once more. Okay. That was very poor representation. Yeah. Oh, VH said C made the manual and cartridge for Evil Magician Returns. That is awesome. It's me. Oh, it's you. Don't I just keep that. playing. <laughs> I'm just, I just keep going until I realize that I, I am not ah! actually in control. <laughs> Stuck in the corner. It's you. Oh, it does do a beep beep beep, 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 but I it's not. It time. I feel like it needs to be louder. We have it pretty quiet. Thank you. Should we? Yeah, do it. Mm. Not very good at this, though. <laughs> I almost always kill the fighter. It's tricky. It's tricky on the 2600 version, actually. Yeah, because he, the he the twists. Pa the pattern of firing with the twisting is different than the arcades. So that makes it a little challenging, more challenging. Because he protects himself with his bullets. Oh, I do it every time! Oh, <laughs> oh no! Game uh, over. All right. Uh, we all know Gal. Okay, so the next game is Heist by mm. Timothy Marsh. I think you have played this one. I think so. It sounds familiar. It's the one where you are getting the gold. Oh, yeah, this is the one I'm thinking of. I think. Maybe I don't know this one. Um, this is by Timothy Marsh, and it mm. is up for a best homebrew. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Where you have to go through the door, and you have to shoot the guys. I wouldn't recommend going down that path. Yeah, that's right. And you have a time limit. And they start going after you when you go in their room. Don't have a ton of time. Do I have to shoot this, or do I go through it? You have to go through it. Oh! Death. As it flashes. As it flashes. Yeah, see, that's that wasn't helpful. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, and he got, the guy moves very fast, so which is good getting through the doors, but he makes it very touchy. Oh. And you can shoot on angles. I do. <laughs> you can? You can. It's difficult. Oh, but you, you I'm did using when all you... my bullets, yeah. Oh, yeah, you have limited bullets, too. <laughs> there's many different variations of the game where there's different time amounts, um, different amount of bullets... Uh, I can't remember what all the variations are. Almost out of time. <laughs> it is a challenging game. Oh, just got him. Oh, the alarm's out. going off. Yeah, you have to be really quick. You I do. don't remember it being this fast. Has it? Is are we at a at a more advanced level or? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, pause. Uh, no, don't think so. No. Hmm. Remember having to do it quite so quickly, but maybe, maybe we just got better at it. Well, remember how to really? <laughs> oh God. Almost out of time. <laughs> this is a very uh, rel rel relentless game. Very punishing. Yeah, very nice little tiny sprite animations. Now there's a game that I played oh, on the C64. I don't like that. <laughs> what is it called? Realms of Impossibility. And it reminds me a lot of the movement in this game. The fast little tiny characters. And your character in that game was like three pixels high. And all the enemies were like three or four pixels high and they're all super tiny. It's really but everything moved really quickly <laughs> around the screen. Your turn. Okay. I know we got pretty far in this, from what uh, I remember. Like level four? Four or five, something like that. But you have to, like, move. Yeah, you have to get comfortable, and the door... I keep hitting the door. Like, it's a little sensitive, so you have to be careful. Yeah. Damn it, you the door, right you, away. you have to be very careful with the door. 
this is like level oh my god this is like level one <laughs> Yeah, I remember it being super challenging. It was, but once you got used to it, yeah. it wasn't too bad, but it, the movement's a little sensitive, so you have to be careful. Cause our, yeah, we got pretty far. You have to kind of figure out patterns of... Yeah. Damn it! <laughs> do one more. I've got to show level two at least. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's pathetic. I know we did get further. Oh yeah, we got Quite to like level further. three or four. Yeah. It gets super crazy. Mm -hmm. Because I remember getting past this level quite easily, and that you just get that guy in that room, like you yeah. can just walk right, right past him. And that guy moves faster, faster, which is fine. Is actually better that he comes faster, so that you can. You want him up in that upper room, though. Right. Well, it doesn't actually matter because you can go to the top too. That's right. But you have to run really fast. Okay, this guy. Then you have to shoot up, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's not too bad. And then I do shoot this guy. There. And then... I think it's faster if you go through the door. I think that was the yeah. thing. You wait for him to come up, and then you just boot it for the door. And then, and then th these guys, you have to be even faster. Uh, the problem I was having before was shooting that guy. And that guy too. Well, you can you can bypass him if you go through the door. Yeah, it's slower. and it's ever so. No, it's if you if you time it, it's faster, because that door is pretty slow. But it's all coming. Ah, ah it's all coming to back there. to me now. Ah, yeah. Hi, Atari. That oh, one you gotta turn really fast on. Hi, Atari. Are you coming to play heist? Yes, he is. Yeah, you are. Up, 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 up. And I believe the next level is torturous. Or maybe not. I don't remember this level. Neither do I. I don't think we made it to this one very often. <laughs> Why would you even put doors down there? I don't know. Um, oh. That's the exit now. Oof. It's like it had completely materialized yeah, on the other side. I don't either. think we did. How can I do so well now? <laughs> I don't know. It's coming back to you, I think. Yep. Headshot. What are the bars showing? The left bar is your bullets. So now I have no bullets. Yeah. And I'm going to die. Um, and the right bar is the time that you have. Well, you might not die. And this is how you, you do with slowly. no bullets. Uh, they move faster once you it. once you get the money too. Yeah. Yeah. Hey Atari. Yeah. So let's try and do it with no bullets. Yeah. A no bullet. Uh, no bullet run. run. Actually, one of the levels is a pacifist run, an option. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, so that neat. is heist. Challenging, challenging, fun, uh, great mechanics on that game. Next one is the one you were talking about before, Spies in the Night 2. <laughs> nice. There we go. And we're going to play blind. So we're not going to have air link. Don't, don't touch right. joysticks right. and buttons. Right. All right. <laughs> You're like clicking no, I, I, I just touched it very lightly. Uh, it's sensitive. Uh, it is. We will play the newest demo version. Is this um, for work in progress? Nope, this is a finished game. Oh, okay. It is, um, it's finished, but it's not put out on cartridge Oh, yet, I see. But okay. it is finished. It is a finished game. And it's uh, up for best homebrew, uh, best graphics, and best music and sound. Mm -hmm. And it's like Spies of the Night 1, except more of the same. So this is like Spies of the Night 1. This was the whole game. So you have to hide in the shadows there. Excellent. And unless you have it mapped out, well, you can kind of tell what it is. And that's the one I like the best, I think. So you don't be moving when it crosses you. First level one's easy. 
as it gets up. It gets insane, that one. Yes. But they all get insane as they go up. That's a question mark, which could make you go up 30, 30 seconds, which is great. Or send you up a couple floors, or send you back down a couple, a couple floors. Press up. Um, and you, your mission is to get to the top floor, which is... Mm. Depends on how which game you're playing, how many, how, um, how many floors there are. Ah. Oh, and there is a bit of a slowing lag. down. There is a lag. Yeah. And uh, we did finish the. First, during during the show, I think we finished the first um, the first tower, but I don't know if we finished the second tower or not. So these are like things you're hiding behind, and you can press the button to duck if you remember. The button? Oh, okay. But you don't need to. Yeah. And in this, you have an overall time, and it's counting yeah. down. And if I'm going you, very slow. On this one, yeah. And that's the whole time you have for the whole tower. Yeah. So it's beneficial to map it out and, and figure out. You like that one? Mm. <laughs> yeah. Boot it. Run. Go all the way. Yeah. This one, yeah. yeah. Sure. I know you like that one. At least they're together. Yeah. If they're separate, that would not be good. Floor eight. Mm-hmm. Watch it go like back down three floors. Okay. No question. Oh, they're both the same, so. so. This is the original spies in the night, right? This is the mechanics of the yeah. original. Just a bit off. So you don't lose any time other than the time that it takes to re reset the level. Ducking really does do it. Mm, yeah, just unless an, you have Just to. an added yeah. thing to, to do. This game looks cool. I like the variety of mechanics and the level design. Mm. That's its big strengths is its mood. That's huge. That's a good Thank bonus. goodness. You were down low. The, the film noir, black and white type of yeah, look to it. Neat. The variety of types of levels. And, mm -hmm. and you can play to your strengths. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, I'm better at this type, so I'm going to go for these types of these types of floors. Oh, yeah, let's do that one. Nobody's seen it yet. Just... I do not like this one. No? I remember we, playing it with Airland, and this one I was just not doing well on. Oof, that's close. You have to kind of memorize where things are. Down and right across. Sometimes it's hard. It gets harder. It fills it in yeah. as, as it goes up. So each more, of these more more um, chaotic. Yeah. Yeah, and that applies. No straight lines. Um, oh, that's good. Um, and each of these, you can't pause either. Your time keeps going. Mm -hmm. So as you go up the floors, each of these types of puzzles gets harder. Let's do that again. Ooh. See, it's really filled in now. If you run run over the weight at you, any time, at any time, you're done. It's zap these zap zaps for you. Yeah. So some of those are pretty quick, quicker than other types of levels. Yeah, I I but didn't like those as much as some of the, some of the other designs. I'm running out of time now. Oh, let's do it. Go on. Oh, oh, great. That's what I needed. Mm -hmm. Do a little bit of a pause. Relax. You can't stay in there. You have to run out the door because your time keeps going down. Sure. Oh, nice clear one. Ish. Oof. Not too bad. That's pretty quick. You've been doing those ones through. really quickly. Yeah. So I'm going to stick with those if I encounter them. You always have the choice. It's like, uh, 
Uh, nothing, which is fine. Gets me up a floor. Mm hmm. Could be much worse. That's mm -hmm. actually very quick. Floor 20. How many take... floors were there, did we figure? Oh, this is going to be bad. Uh, I can't remember. Damn it. Oh, that's a terrible. You don't want to be in the middle of that. Oh, really challenging. Oh my god. Because they're all spaced out. When you're in the middle, it's really hard. I don't even know what I'm going to do. Just do that. Like, li like a foot at a time. <laughs> you don't lose time, do you? No, when you, you die? just restart the level. It's not an impossible mission. Yay! <sighs> no, it's not. <laughs> Yeah, impossible mission. You lose. You, you lose, lose like, massive chunks of time as you yeah, go through. Yeah. Oh, why did I pick that? I don't oh, know. This one's not too bad. Why did I wait? Run. <laughs> <laughs> At least those are slow. That one's not too bad. Not doing that again though. No more of those. They're only easy at the beginning. Any uh. Nope. Uh, okay. Uh. What? See a death on there. It's pretty come gruesome. On, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, this one definitely a lot harder. Yeah, lots of oh, to bad lose time, so. Oh, three. Two, two one. Two, one, run! Finis! Oh, there's a lighthouse you're climbing up. Yeah. The timing is even more brutal than perils. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It is very, very, very cool game. Mm -hmm. And I can't wait for the box. Because the yeah. first one was like super moody and mm. where is it? I'm sure he'll be doing the similar kind of look to it. Oh, there's too much stuff up here. So he had a film noir look to the box. Mm. Oh, let's go for big, 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 big. There we go. Spies nice. in the night. Yeah. The lighthouse. And in the first game, you're the guy diffusing a bomb at the top of the lighthouse. In this one, you're the bad guy putting the bomb in the lighthouse and you're trying to get out I can't, I can't remember exactly it um but this came with a bunch of bonus stuff um like spy glasses oh, x-ray goggles and, <laughs> nice. and a bunch of money and <laughs> other fun little items hi tari you're a very good cat mm -hmm. you? He's happy, out. happy to be not to be locked in the in the bedroom oh anymore. is that why yeah oh. So we're going to go to the end, 2600. Um, this is by Carlos Raymond C. Mm. This is a shooter? port of an arcade game. It is a shooter. Have you played this? No. Nope. Oh my goodness. I have so not many played games. this one. No. Everybody hasn't played because I've played them all. Yeah. Well, I've played, I've played a bunch of these games. Yeah. I played Spies in the Night too. Yeah. yeah. But not this one. Okay. Oh, I don't think so. Cool. I don't think I've ever left it go long enough to see that oh, very nice. often. I just jump right in. Okay. That's the mothership. You don't shoot it or interact with it in any way. Um, those are the blocks you're trying to protect. You're trying to protect them? Those guys will come down. You want to shoot the guys. One shot at a time. It's oh my a, goodness. It's not a rapid fire kind of situation. And they'll steal the blocks and they'll... Um, Spell out words. Spell out the end across the screen. End? Nope. Or something. I can't remember. Um, Where am I? Went right for the boat. No, I <laughs> didn't know I was moving even. Um, you don't have to worry as much about them stealing the blocks as them spelling out the word. That's when it's over. So really go after the one that's stealing all the blocks right now. Easier said than done. I'm just trying to kill any of them. Yeah, and the goal and is they, and they just respawn. They well, do. that's frustrating. Because the ship is full of them, and and those little dots on the top of the ship are the individual guys. So really? as you shoot the individual guys, the dots on the ship go lower and lower. So you can tell when you're close to the end of the level, when the ship has run out of dots. It's a neat spider mechanic. fighter vibe. Yes, it does. The, the, you know what these remind me of when I saw the um, the sprites? 
those little plastic spider rings you used to get as oh, a kid. And you put them on your finger. And you put them on your finger. Very similar, yes. Yeah. Funny. They'd be all colorful, just like yeah, those Yeah, I like it. I like it. That should be the accessory that comes with the game. That's right, yeah. I haven't seen those in a long time. You might have to get some new old stock off of uh, eBay, a big bin Well, of they're not usually colorful. They're usually either black or orange, and they sell oh, them at Halloween. Oh, the black spider ones. Yeah. Oh, but yeah, just yeah, the yeah, plastic yeah, yeah. spider rings. Like oh, you can get those. I'm sure they make <laughs> those still. I was thinking of something else. That's, that's what it made me think of. Yeah. Just need to spray paint them bright colors. Yeah, that's true. Get a yellow spray paint, yeah. orange, that's pink. Exactly. be the best uh, game player but I can definitely come up with merchant merchandising <laughs> ideas <laughs> there you go uh, ah. and this Jeez, is this uh, a long level this is a port oh, it is it when you when you get shot enough you only have I only this is your last life I know but well, now you're I, avoiding I lost the bullets other, which is good well you got to hang with it yeah so there's Thanks. two two ways to die in this game lose all your lives or they spell out the, the word. I think it's the end. So. Or end. End. Oh my goodness. I remember now. And it is a port of an arcade game by the same name, I believe. I can really, I only shoot one bullet at a time. I yes. <laughs> don't need to just. Con I, 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 I feel I, like. I believe it has rapid fire if you hold it down. If that helps, sometimes yeah. it helps. Sometimes it's like kind I, of. I mean, I just I like I like the tactile feeling of smacking the button <laughs> continuously, but because you don't get the satisfying. timing properly if you hold it down. Yeah, it's true. Um, there's a game I play in the arcade called Gyrus, and oh, you yeah. make it to the second oh, wave, yeah. and it does ah, not have rapid more fire. Of them. Yeah. <laughs> So you have to press the button every time you want to fire. And oh yeah, you you we go and play, and then after about half an hour, you're like, it's time to go home. Because I'm, <laughs> I'm I'm done. My wrist is dead. So I posted that on Instagram no. uh, of me playing Gyrus. Yeah. And said, oh, I always leave it to the end of the night, the last game I play, because it just destroys my wrist from pressing the button for half an hour, over and over and over and over like that. And um, somebody answered and, and gave me some hints. Oh, yeah. And, um, and it turned out to be the world record holder for, <laughs> for Gyrus. I think that's awesome. <laughs> that was giving me hints on how to, how to play. Oh, I got an extra one. Yeah. I was like, oh, my God. Well, he knows how to play. That's yeah. for sure. If you're going to get good advice from someone, it's going to be from him. Get, so. get the world record holder to help you. Yeah. help you to um, alleviate your repetitive strain injury. Yeah, and he, so yeah. he showed me his, this method of cupping your hand. I tried it, but I, I, I'll have to try it again. I don't think I succeeded very well. It's still, it's still got that movement. He still said move the wrist. It's not a whole arm. Mm -hmm. And that's the problem. It's just the movement of the wrist over and over again. But he's he did this cupping thing that made it a little bit better. Charles Reese says, I remember those spider rings, too. Yeah. yeah. I think they lasted just, a long time. Oh, they still they still have them at Halloween. I just, you still see them? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what? They, they, they give them in um, when you buy fake um, spider webs. Oh, they actually yes. include them. But with it's the, not the rings, though, are they? No, they are rings, but oh. they include them with the fake spider webs. So they're repurposing the rings. If they the still rings. sell those, I assume they still do. Well, we, we had some spider webs and we had the spiders up too. Oh, yeah, yeah, for the Halloween episode. Yeah, I don't remember if they had the ring part to them. I don't think uh, they they did. All, they, no, they usually do. Okay. I think I think it's. Well, it spells out N. Now I can see it. Yeah, it's almost there. Jeez. Oh, no, it's not, not anywhere near close. Yeah, but all my blue stuff's almost there. No, that's gone. okay. That's okay. Really? Yeah. It just respawns, it respawns the blue? Those are more for protective. Whew. Third wave. Ah, five! Yeah. There's not... This is just... Oh. Oh. It's just... Uh, there's nothing to protect you. No, it's open now. Yeah. Um, it's like Space Invaders, where you have the... Um, yeah. The little shields. Yeah. And eventually those get eaten away. But they're also annoying because they get in the way, too. So I kind of like it when it's open. So 
some ways it's easier to shoot them because there's oh, so many on, this, on the screen. It actually is an advantage to have, have this many. Yeah, here it all comes there back. You go. And with games like this where they're firing no. at you, it's a good idea to, to split your attention 50-50 with the bullets coming yes. down and, and kind of where they are in general at the yeah. top. It's, it's not too bad, actually, for... Mostly look at the bullets. Yeah. And stay out of well, the way of the low guys. Because you don't have much time between when yeah, they shoot. Yeah, but the bullets are pretty slow. Like, they I'm are. not finding the bullets all that hard to avoid. It's not like... Not like Galaga, where you just get... It's an onslaught yeah. of stuff flying at you. Post cam gone again. Weird. Did no. it say anything before it shut down? Yeah. Anyone? Anyone paying attention? Play back the old footage. <laughs> yeah. What's going on? Ah. This is so cute. It's warm, but it's not nowhere near hot. Actually, it's pretty hot. So we did go to um, Capital City Arcade again a couple of weeks ago. Yep. Next wave. About a week. Uh, last weekend. Last weekend. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, Saturday. Yeah. Um. Yeah. We played all the usual games. Any games in particular that stepped uh, that jumped oh, out at you I'm that we played? To, I'm trying to get my score up on Bosconian. Getting a lot better. I think the local top score is 120,000. I'm in, I'm in the yeah. 80s, 90s, high 80s, high 80s. That's what I got. 80, no, not high 80s. 83, I got 83,000. Um, so actually, I was looking on which which game pack it was on for the PlayStation, which I'm which I do have. So I'm gonna take that disc upstairs and practice on Bosconian. Unfortunately, it's not a joystick that I have for PS2. I don't have a PS2 joystick, hmm. so I have to use a thumb pad. But you can't. It'll probably find be something that would work. Or? Uh, they're expensive getting those are big they? rigs. Oh, like, I these see. These are these, these are would, not cheap. These wouldn't work with. No, no these, are, these Xbox, are Xbox, and I don't really feel like buying another huge one. It can't be adapted or anything like that. I guess. <sighs> I don't know. I could look into it because I have a lot of um, arcade compilations for the PS for the PlayStation. So that might not be a bad idea. Mm -hmm. Just getting like a mini one, not as big as this, but like a smaller joystick one. Ah, come on! The end is near, VHS. Yeah! <laughs> nice. Fifth wave. You have to at least make it to the boss. There's a boss? <laughs> yeah, I think it's at the sixth wave. I thought it was doing really well. Uh, doing don't fine. tell me that. That's how That's how you... Um, Jinx you? Jinx me. Oh, well, you have to get to the sixth wave. Well, now you've guaranteed I think it's the sixth, or maybe it's the tenth. Is it a gigantic spider? Uh, no, you. I think you battled the, the big boss at the top. Oh, really? Yeah. It's been a while. It's been a while since I played it. Since we played it on the show. Whoa, oh. that was close. Yeah, it came really low. So there's something about this that is very zen like. I like games it is, like this. It is slow because and it's, relaxing. Because it's, it's um, repetitive. It is. It doesn't, there's nothing, nothing has changed other than the fact that there's just a lot more on the screen. It's not too stressful. No. It's, it's it's not too crazy or definitely not the most stressful game. No, it's it's a long long game. I have not played this in the arcade. I've never even seen this or heard of this, this before. Game? Before he adapted it, before he ported it. Um, so I don't know if it plays this slow in the arcade because they wouldn't be making many quarters if like, this is the first time you've ever played this yeah. game. And you're still playing after 15 minutes. It's very true. This is the first first, <laughs> first turn quarter. I've, the first turn I've ever taken on this game. So yeah. it's definitely it's not it's not too bad yeah. for picking up and playing. Yeah. You can see it's a it's addictiveness though. Oh yeah, it's it's a fun it's almost the fun end, though. shooter. <laughs> yeah, another almost row. Almost the end. Oh no, don't give them more bricks. <laughs> but I think this might be the final level, and then it resets the end. Does it? Yeah. At the top. After you shoot the boss. Ah. Whoa. Mm. This is the last guy. Oh, guys. that was so close. This is the last two guys. One guy. Don't stop it. Stop <laughs> it. It's you and him. There we go. Oh, 
Oh, shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot the white part. Oh, you got it. That's it? Yeah, 70 points. <laughs> Which is nothing. Then you get the bonus. bonus. And it starts anew. <sighs> Would you want to play from here on out? Because I'm stressed now. <laughs> uh, yep, hide behind a protective thing. Fun! Fun, fun, fun. Uh, what did I play when we were in Now it gets game? really hard, actually. Does it? Yeah, it gets Well, they move fast. really quickly. Um, yeah, what did you played Satan's Hollow quite a bit? I, I, I love Satan's Hollow. Was I'm always Pac-Man? disappointed oh. because whenever, oh, whenever I play, <laughs> uh, whenever I play Satan's Hollow, uh, the end by Konami. Uh, Never seen Bosconian before the homebrews. I I played Bosconian a lot when I was a kid, and I I found it very hard back then. Now I find it a lot easier. Mm-hmm. I don't know what the difference is. Maybe I just didn't understand it. Anyway, I interrupted you. Uh, no, no, I was just talking about the arcade. Yeah. Because um, I always play Satan's Hollow, and I'm always the only person on the leaderboard. <laughs> so I don't think it's a very popular game in they the arcade. Not, they better not take it out. I'll be upset. Uh, well, and, and every time I go and I, I start playing and I realize, I'm like, oh... I'm the only person on the leaderboard. So not many people are playing it. I'm worried they're going to take it away because it's one of my favorite games Yeah. because I played it so much on the Commodore 64 when I was young. But, um... Blast off! Yeah, mm-hmm. that's the one. But unfortunately, I, I don't think it's the most popular game in the arcade. So no, it's uh, not very, a lot of play. When not, we were, not, peop- not many people have heard of it. That's the thing. Which is, is it, crazy because... Is uh, there no Mame ROM you can get practice on? Oh, yeah. There's the main ROM for everything. So mm-hmm. we could play Satan's Hollow. You could yeah. play Satan's Hollow on the C64, but it's not quite the same. It's a very good version of it, actually. Mm. Um, I wonder if it's That's been released on a, on a pack of games. Who makes it? I'll have to look that up, see if it's been released mm-hmm. on emulation. Because don't you remember, oh, have you ever played this game? I said, no, yes. I don't think so. No, we were we were at the arcade at uh, Portland Retro Gaming Expo. And James right. said, have you ever played Satan Solid? And I said, no. And I started playing it. And it was like, I don't know, three years of video game play, playing flashback <laughs> into my bra- brain from when I was like 10 years old. And I was like... I play this game so much, but I didn't realize. I didn't realize it was Satan's Hollow. It's it was so crazy. It's one of my so most crazy. played games on the C64. I played it so much on the C64. Um, and I'm but proud to say I have the local record for, you have the local for Satan's high, Hollow. And I'm still in the second second place for Satan's Hollow. Are you? Yes. Oh, good. And I'm also in in fourth, second or fourth for Miss Pac-Man on the board. Mm. But they put my... Because you... you um, write your name down. You write your name down, and they... Put instead of Tanya, Janya. Janya. And I was like Janya, and I'm like, no, I think that's me. But I hand wrote my name in because you can't put your initials. And uh, and then mm. I'm like, no, I think that was me because I had one really good good game of yeah. Miss Pac-Man when I was there the last time. But this time I was playing terrible, mm. just terrible. I was doing terrible playing it. So, but it was a lot of fun. It could have been the wine I had right before we went there too. So yeah. Ah, it's time for Wizard of War. Yay! We can play two players on this, which is good. Yeah. And... Oh. You pressed on. <gasps> and now you press the button to start. Uh... S- standard? Standard. Yeah. And that's two player? Yeah. So this is by Champ Games. Um... And it's up for best homebrew, best graphics, uh, graphics by Nathan Strum, um, best music and sound, sound by Mike Haas, which is Ice Bosta, who's I think still in the chat, mm-hmm, somewhere in there. Uh, with Ross Keenum, and also for best packaging by Dave Dries. And oh, I didn't bring out the Galagon and Wizard War. Might as well bring them both out at the same time. I missed them. Just stack these up after the show again. There we go. There's the Wizard of War. Very bright. Yeah. Beautiful packaging. Uh, yellow and orange and blue. Complementary colors. Orange and blue. And then the beautiful Galaga. Mm-hmm. Galagon. Galagon. And you can get that in two different cartridges. But I just mm-hmm. have the one. Nice. Because that's all they had available at Portland Retro Gaming Expo <laughs> at the time. Okay. Let's get into it. And who bought all those games at Portland Retro Gaming Expo? Oh, you did the first that's day. Right. So uh, it wasn't... Sold out. 
no voices, unfortunately, because he's playing it's on okay. an emulator because the Atari is dead. That's very sad. And I don't have an Atari uh, adapter, so I can plug it into the COM port, and I haven't had time. Remember, there's friendly fire. You stay on your is side. There? Yeah, stay on oh. your side. Homebrew for Bosconian for Atari 8 bits is very impressive. I haven't played that one. Um, obviously, the, 26, oh, I didn't mean to do that. the 2600 one by Spicer is unbelievable. It, I played that a lot on before I played in the arcade again, and it was a great translation, like perfect. Like you can practice on the 2600 version and just pick up the joystick in the arcade and be totally fine. Oh, come on! Got him! Double score! Double score dungeon! You're still waiting for your t-shirt. I'm still waiting <laughs> for my t-shirt. Double score dungeon t-shirt. <laughs> Woo! Double score dungeon. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Stop being so terrible! <laughs> Stay away from him. Wait, wait, wait. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I'm I just having play. trouble. I'm having <laughs> trouble today. For reasons, I... Starting to disappear now. Be careful. Oh, warlock! Got him! Get you. Woo! Wizard! Get the wizard! Get him! Oh no, he disappeared! Got oh, him. good job! Double score dungeon. Nice name for a band. Yep. Nice double score dungeon? Double score dungeon. What kind of music would double score dungeon it, metal. be? Metal. Hardcore metal. Metal, yeah, metal, metal, metal. Metal. I'm gonna stay out of that arena area because you can shoot me. Oh, oh no, I'm sucking it up today. Their lives. I don't think I've died yet. As I die. Yep. <laughs> That's how it goes when you say you haven't died yet. You die. Oh, jinxing yourself. Ah! I don't turn fast enough. This is my problem. Oh, my bullets. Shooting across, that's a problem. Be careful when you're shooting that long of a range. You only get one bullet. That's to wait for it to come back. Nice! Yeah! I'm proud of my double score dungeon sound. Don't remember how that got so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the sound on this is, is really, it really, is really, really good. Loud. Good job, I supposed to. Yeah. Oh, I got him! Come on! No, I swear! <laughs> I swear that didn't happen. We gotta replay on that. <laughs> Always the way, isn't it? Oh. Just forget that they can become invisible. Now we're gonna play to a level where it's. Oh. oh, at the moment I move, I swear to God. It's gonna turn around. Got him! Oh, you got him! Okay. Oh, oh no! Damn it! Got me. Oh. oh, he escaped. How did he escape? He didn't get out the door. He doesn't have to. I he thought he did. Right. Or is it is it the warlock that has to get out the door? The warlock. Luck. Warlock. I think we're gonna die soon. Yes! Yeah. And I'm dead. Ghost cam went off again. What is happening with your camera? Is it new rebooting? What's going on? Well, I've rebooted it each time. It is very warm. Yep. Killed him, but he killed me. Evens out, I guess. You have to refocus it though. Oh really? Oh, the no. front ring. This is where I died because I have no help with this. Level. 
so fast now. I'm dying. Sorry. Yep. Thank you. Are you sure? Yep. Covered up. Is it screen off in the back? Okay. There we go. There is Wizard of War. I did the bullet sounds. Some sounds is from the CBS cart. Ross did the warlock and wizard sounds. Nice. And um, that church organ sound I really wanted to get. Yeah, you pulled it off perfectly. Mm -hmm. And um, the voices. Did you do all the voices too, I supposed to, for the for the Atari Vox? I can't remember. I think you did. Now, how many were there? It was like 60? 60 voices? There's a lot of them. Uh, phrases. Something like that. Okay, so uh, the last game that was not covered so far, if I do remember correctly, is Spaceman Splorf. Have you played that one? Well, we no, shall see. No, I do not think I have. What are you up to? You found a toy? Did you find a toy? Spaceman Splorf. Is this uh, like Sounds like. Spaceman Splorf, Planet of Doom by Andre Andreas Gustafsson, SDW, and Vanya Utne. Yes, all the speech. 60 plus uh, it's phrases. A phrases. Speech? Yeah. It is. Oh, so oh. close. What am I doing? Pressing the button. Oh. It's just a one button game. What? Can't go too high, can't go too low. Don't hit the rocks. That's all there is to it. Oh, there's nothing else? There's no movement? No, no movement? no movement. Up and down. Oh my goodness, I didn't even hit that hard. So, Spaceman's Dwarf is up for best graphics, best music and sound. <laughs> that takes a very light hand. And you can tell that they're from the demo scene. Based on the music. Oh, it's beautiful. And the the colors. The of, colors of the rocks. Of the rocks, like they're crazy colors, but they work because the bottoms of them are like kind of like dark, and they're using blues and greens. Oh, and up at the top, it's kind of bright and yellow. Yeah. There's so many. Uh As your six five zero two. If it wasn't for this show, I've forgotten half these games, and that's exactly why. We're doing these this retrospective of all the games that are nominated because it reminds me of the games <laughs> that we played through the... It's kind of a year-end wrap-up at the same time. It's kind of nice. It packages everything together. This is basically Flappy Bird in space. <laughs> it is. You're absolutely right. It's, like, it's a little different because Flappy Bird goes through openings. Yeah. I guess there's openings. You have to go through an opening. But I mean, the the, the mechanic of it is, oh, yeah. is basically it you're is, flapping. You're it flapping is, your wings. It so is you're avoiding... Flapper. And, and you kind of have a thruster. It's so hard. It gets hard to get fast. What are you doing back then? Come on. I don't know you take it out. I don't know what you're doing. You're turning it. This is some... Uh, Dan ABC says, oh, this is the one that did the Rolland play. Yeah, unfortunately. Um, they only sold it on cart. Um, luckily, we have, they let us have... Um, a ROM to play for ourselves. I don't think it has a demo either. Because, I mean, how would you even scale this down? Time limit, I guess? 60 seconds of play? You could do that. Um, but yeah, this is all this is on cart only. There's no there's no download. So you'll have to watch us play if you want to and listen to it to, to evaluate <laughs> what you think of the game. It's pretty cute! I really like the visuals of it. But it's very simple. It is Flappy it is. Bird in space. So you're just trying to not go too high or too low. It's very sensitive, that button. So, um, yeah. It's got a um, nice star feel to it. Yeah. With um, some parallax on the stars. I love the little alien guy. Oh, the little green, very cute. green head. Uh, punching when he. Yeah. Yeah, it's very cute. See, you're, you're much more controlled than I was. I guess the idea is just tap it very, very low. Yeah, to maintain your, um, and you can go up faster than you can go down. Yeah. So you want to stay down a bit. So you can go up. Yeah. Because going down, you have to hard wait. Down. Oh, you're just kicking my butt. Um, you have a lot more control over him than I did. I played this a little bit. Continually hit the uh, laser on the, on the upper. 
for A. Which is nice because you, you can overshoot and die. So. Lots of variety of rocks. So pretty. Yes. So pretty. The rocks are so I mean, nice. I know. <laughs> oh, oh it's too many at once. There's like a big wall of them. Three, three, four, three. Yeah, and the star field is giving a good cooling effect. I agree. It it's is. Really, yeah. Really nice. I've got phosphor. The different, the different speeds of the. Yeah. I've got phosphor stars. on, which is giving some trails on the stars, which. I like that. Not super keen on. No, oh, I like it. It, it does give it so kind good. of a nice effect on this. It almost doesn't look Atari-like, actually. But. Uh, yeah, the graphics are pretty bad. Yeah. I think you can die if you go down to the bottom too. That's what happens. I think you're your right. Your yeah. First game. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up or down. Yeah. Sure. So there's boundaries. There are boundaries. Can't just, can't just fly away. Yeah. Damn it. Uh, VHZC, uh, it looks more like those modern games that use pixel art style than an actual 2600 game. Really nice. I agree. It reminds me of one of those games, those pixel art games. And, and a lot of Atari games are moving into that realm where they're, they're taking cues from modern retro, well, 8-bit retro games. It's and, almost the modern visual and an aesthetic and styling which didn't exist back in no. the 80s it's a very different style yeah. it's really nice. it is our neighbors are cranking up the volume for friday night whatevers <laughs> oh, oh caught my foot oh so close but one more i'm passed over to you all right and this, yeah. I believe, is the last game. I'm going to check over once more over the list to make sure. Is there any more? You're going to play some there, there, Lynn, right? Or are you just doing the oh, 5200, 7800? Is... Yeah. Oh, God. Nice. Yeah. You were stuck there. I did really well in my first game. Yeah, you did. It is randomized, so it's the luck of the draw. See, I hit it I hit it ever so lightly, touch. and it goes to Very light touch. Space Man's Floor is, is like a rare Vectrex game. Vet Caves. One button with music. Vet Caves. I do have that game. Or is it on a multi? Okay, I don't have that game. Unless it's on a multi card. Maybe not. Maybe not. I know of that one. Two, 200. I think I, I think I just hold it just a little bit too long yeah, sometimes. Yeah, it's just light taps to maintain. You have to let go before you where you want to be because of the momentum. And I believe this was released on a C64 first. So this is a port of a C64. Okay. C64 homebrew game. Really? So this is a port of a homebrew. Oh, not too bad there. Uh, there was a okay. So he knocked a toy under there last Friday. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he still thinks it's there. Um, I know. I I think he's he remembering the there. toy from seven days ago. <laughs> <laughs> so cats are not dumb. They just pretend they don't listen to you and don't know what's yeah. going on. And and yet they find a spider in a corner of the room three years ago, and they keep going back to that corner every day for the next three years. <laughs> yes. So they're, they're amazing they, memory. They have they're amazing memory. They're a lot smarter memory. than they they let on. Right. Yes, you are. Superior beings. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure if, if Atari could. Play Spaceman's Dwarf. He would. He he would just kick my butt. If so. there'd be some food attached to him <laughs> yes. as a reward. Yes. I would love to see that. Yeah. Just 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 a button. Right. Um, every, it's like that YouTube. Points, you that YouTube crunchy. with uh, the cats ringing the uh, the bellhop bells ding, 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 for ding. treats is just the most hilarious thing I've ever seen in my life. If you oh, have man. not seen it, you have to look for. <laughs> Cats ring the bell for treats. It's so cute. Uh, it's, it's old. It's been around a long no. time, but it is just so cute. Sorry. Please. 
And the fact that the boulders all move at a different rate too mm -hmm. is really gives, like everything's moving at a different rate. It gives it a really good 3D effect. It's 1.30 a.m. there. Oh, well, thanks for hanging in. Yeah. It's, uh, it's late. It's a late night. Yeah, yeah the 6 o'clock. 5 a.m. That's five hours, five hours ahead of us, so that's... Is that the hour? Should be the Five hours. Do you live in 30. the water? Where do you live five hours ahead? <laughs> There's nothing five hours ahead. There's four and a half, and that's where it stops. The rest is ocean. Well, it could be in, uh... South oh. America. Is it Judd out? I, I would think so. That far? Later. Bye bye, BHZC. Or not BHZC. Oh, yeah, BHZC. Yeah. Is it? BHZC. Yeah. Somebody was saying later, Dan. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, it does Judd out a bit, doesn't it? Yeah. Brazil? Illinois, 1025. Yeah, that's more recent. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, God. Smack to the head. I do love when, when he hits something. The um the the TV the TV um, snow static scene that uh, goes across his body. I'll we'll have to watch it. Yeah. It's these little touches in the game that uh, beautiful. Yeah. Really enhance it. Hi, distracting cat. Trouble. I do like getting attention. All cats. Hi, look at me. You haven't pet me in a while. I'm gonna rifle you through your papers on the side there. Is, is that what he's doing? Yeah, it's like, is there what something? What are you doing? Oh, it's so distracting. What are you doing? <laughs> are you done? You wanna play one more? You're done. I'm done. I'm okay. Done. Yeah, a few more. There we go. And I'm gonna, just gonna Lots check through fun. the list to make sure I have not missed any Atari games because we did the works in progress, then we did the 4K, so I didn't have to look at those. Um, the only ones we're not doing is best packaging because, well, we can't play packaging. Um, and I don't have these games. Actually, yeah. I do have one. You have, you have... I pro golf. Yeah. So I think. And the other one, Jaywalker, I don't have. Mm. So this one is up for um, best packaging. It's pro golf. There we go by EA Smith. And it's got a golf tee in it. <laughs> Nice. And also a scorecard for golf as nice. well. Yeah. I'm going to have to open it up because, well, it's yeah. pain. Very nice. Yep. Mm. And let me just check over. This will bring up the chat on the big screen here. So much easier being on zero page homebrew time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if uh, you're on the west coast west of coast. The North America, yeah. it makes it a little bit easier. Well, no, 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 no. But what is he doing? No, he's getting on the mixer. Which oh. One button could. Oh, now we're gone. Oh, well, that's to do with the, the, cats, the camera. But... What is up with, the, with that camera today? Have you had problems like that before? Not at all. Is it heat? Well, it's not cool in here, but it's not hot. Yeah. They can hear us though, right? The oh, yeah. mic's still on. They're all independent. That's crazy. It is. It's very, very annoying. Here we go. It is very. You have warm, to adjust but... the. Uh, Ah, yes. It's very it does fuzzy. reset the focus each time. Really? Look at the camera. Hi. <laughs> there we go. Uh, at least it's fast. Um, yeah, okay. RC-78 doesn't say it's getting hot like the old one did. It just no, it goes just, boom. It just, just cut off. goes off. Mm. Yeah. I blame it on the cats. We played that Fluffing one. Fluffing it up, yeah. Played all those. Played all those and played all the 4K and works in progress. Wow. So made it through. It's wow. actually divided up quite nicely the way it's, it's working yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. Because the 4Ks um, took a chunk out of a bunch of the other categories. Yes, yeah. Um, that would make sense. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And so the next episode, we're going to play the 8 bit and 5200 games, which I do have an emulator for. Mm -hmm. And then a 7,800 games, um, what am I going to do? I do have Baby Pac-Man on cartridge. Mm -hmm. I do have a 7,800 
Um, mm -hmm. a, I'd have to get out a VCR and hook it up somehow because it's because uh, there's no publicly released ROM or binary of Baby Pac-Man. Okay. But I do have it on cartridge. I don't know what I'll do with that. I mean, worst comes to worst, you should point a camera at it. Oh no, I, I can do it. I yeah. can I can stream it. Oh, you it. can you can stream it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. It just Good. will look terrible because it's going to be through RF. Nah. But it could be worse. It'll be I it'll be real. It'll be authentic. So. I don't have Ricky and Vicky. It's very expensive. Yeah. Um, it works out to like eighty five dollars Canadian. Ooh, yeah. And I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah that's a lot of money but you can probably find some footage of of game oh yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah i'll yeah. do that at the worst yeah um and draker quest 2 for seven eight hundred because it's only three and seven hundred eight hundred games and by default pretty much all 8-bit games are released in full for free mm. on the internet because mm. they didn't really they came on cartridge but these don't come on cartridge mm. they'd have they'd have to release them on disc but they don't do that, so they just release them with binaries. All of them are for free. Mm -hmm. So it's quite nice that way. There is a Rama Baby Pac-Man. Well, we should listen to the person who is... Uh, <laughs> Pac-Man <the>, Plus Cartridge. <laughs> yeah, Bob DeCrizenzo. Oh, De Cri De yeah, in, in the, the thread. thread. Excellent. Oh, excellent. So well, good. That'll, uh, but I we do that have way. it, too, which is a nice, you know... We do. Yeah, we do have it. Yeah. Oh, there, we go. there we go. Baby Pac-Man. Yeah, nice. Um, Very, very cool game obviously it's a mm -hmm. hybrid pinball yes and and when man. when we were in portland we played the arcade version of it yeah they had it in the arcade in the arcade that we were ground at. control ground control yes and so we played it yeah. oh my god it's hard yeah hard 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 really cool though and <laughs> yes. but but i think we went back another day and it it wasn't working or something yeah, yeah. so luckily we did get or no at, at portland at the expo? At the retro gaming expo or something. Anyway, yeah. Yeah. What you can you can imagine how having the video game and a pinball integrated. The right flipper was out, he said. And then, then yes. I think they shut yes. it down. They yes. shut it down because you can't play the game with one flipper. Yeah, but yeah. but it's like the double of having the arcade game and a very sensitive probably um uh, pinball game at yeah, the same that could time go down like, at to any keep time. it to keep it running but yeah high maintenance high maintenance that's what i was <laughs> so what this does is puts the pinball game and Into the arcade the game. game together that's very cool and yeah. just an amazing accomplishment yeah well you can play it with airlin but i might have to play it when when you guys are done yes. if you have it set up still so, yes yeah. i'll leave it set up if we do get yeah. it set up i'll have the weekend to play around with it along with a million other things i have to do <laughs> We'll figure it out. <laughs> so, is it a real physical pinball machine? Yes, the, the original arcade game is. Yes, yeah, it's a it hybrid is. of, it's of hybrid. the two. Yeah. It's, it's quite the machine. It is, yeah. So, if you get a chance to play it, yeah. it's it's something to be seen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on the um, 7800 uh, version, the pinball is simulated on the screen. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you can't have a pinball game. <laughs> you could, I guess, yeah. make a physical one, but yes, it's simulated yeah. on here. Um, yeah, you can go on go online and, and buy it, too. Mm -hmm. Um, so that is it for today. We went through all, mm -hmm. we're finished the 2600 games. Uh, if you have not voted in the Atari Age forums, uh, make sure you get your votes in. You have when's the last day? Four more days. Yeah, it's on the 28th is a cutoff. We extended it. It used to be yesterday <laughs> or tomorrow. Sorry, it was used to be the 25th, but we extended a couple of days because it took a couple of days to get it all going. Yeah, there are some issues with getting the polling, right? Yeah, the yeah. polling wasn't up and running yeah. um, because the forums were upgraded. And then we needed a new version of it. Mm. And, the, and the person who made that one was not selling it anymore. It was a big thing. Mm. But in the end, we got it working, which is great. Mm. And now the polls have been up for since yesterday. So get in there and get your votes in mm. um, before it closes. Um, and then on February 1st is the Atari Awards. It's Saturday. It's at noon. There's no excuses. You don't have to go to bed. You don't <laughs> yeah. have to go to bed. It's much earlier than today. Um, and so you can watch and see uh, yeah. what all the who all the winners are. Yeah. On the first. I'm excited. And all the hosts will be there. Darcy's coming off vacation early yeah. to be here for yeah. it. He's like he's like he's coming back from Arizona or something like that, and then just staying with us overnight and then he'll be in the show in the, the next day so mm -hmm. yeah that's a dedicated guy oh and there it goes again <laughs> what a
What is up with that camera today? That's hot. Yeah? Very, very, very warm. Does it need an ice pack? You yep. need ice packs. Just put some ice cubes on it. Yeah. It'll be all good. I hope yeah. it... Is it going to be okay for the Atari Awards? Are you Internal using... Internal temperature high. Allow to cool. Well, uh, you're going to have to flip it around to the... <laughs> Yeah, you might. That's crazy. We'll see. <sighs> Just give it a couple seconds. Why is it so hot today? I don't know. Very, very weird. There we go. There we go. For the last couple seconds, we'll make it quick and wrap it up quick. <laughs> it's been a rough one. Yeah. Um, yeah. So thanks everybody for tuning in. Uh, oh, thanks, Splendid Nut. Games are so hot today, they made the camera yeah, overheat. Right. That's exactly right, Splendid Nut. <laughs> over and over and over again. So thanks uh, to everybody who's tuning in mm -hmm. and everybody in the chat. Splendid, like Splendid Nut, mm -hmm. Pac Man Plus, Atari Age, I supposed to, 06502, RC7E. Oh, it went up too fast. Dan AVC. Oh, it's very quick. Charles Reese. Uh, VH7VHZC uh, I supposed to oh ooh, ooh, oh who's that new name uh, Clarissa, Clarissa Lever <laughs> there we go that's a new name welcome yes. Charles Reese yeah uh, who else we got McMuse McMuse popped in mm -hmm. um, is that everyone Spinley Spinley 1970 and that's the last of, oh, Captain Classic at the last second. Nice. Yes, the 7800 8-bit show is on Monday. It's at the regular uh, Erlen time, 11 a.m. Pacific time, <laughs> 2 p.m. Eastern time. I'll have to tell him that. Erlen time. Erlen time. <laughs> <laughs> Will the ZPH 7800 8-bit 8 8-bit 8 uh, show before the bowling closes? Yes, yes. Before it closes? I don't know. When does it close? On Monday? Uh, close on Tuesday. Yeah, so, yes. so you're good. You're, you're good. good. So yeah. you'll be able to see them all, which yeah. is nice. It all fit in. Um, yeah. So that's it for us till Monday. Mm -hmm. And then that's the last show till the Homebrew Awards, which is not this Saturday, next Saturday on yeah. February 1st. So I hope all of you are going to be there. Yeah. And uh, we'll have call-ins and uh, lots of fun things. Yeah. And, I'm very excited. Yeah. And we'll see uh, who everybody voted for. Yeah. Yeah. So thanks everybody for tuning in and we will see you on Monday. That's right. Bye-bye. Bye. Have a good weekend. Have a good weekend.